Welcome to Sunday. Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, where we play new games on classic consoles at 60 frames a second. So make sure you're watching at 60 frames a second, either live or recorded. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got a bunch of games today. Mm -hmm. We've got Tanya here. Hello. And we're on a Sunday because uh, we pushed it from Friday because I was doing some work on friday you're doing I, some filming so you're yeah. out you had to had to be out of the house unfortunately. yeah so we had to postpone Hello. it and i knew that ahead of time so i let everyone know on wednesday that it was going to be on sunday and yeah. and looks like uh, everybody listened and they're able to tune in which yeah, is great it's really nice it's sort of an off off schedule day and yep. uh uh, uh early happy saint patrick's day yeah from the o'briens the o'briens yeah the right above yeah, yeah. Well, somewhat right. authentic there we go Never somewhat, been to Ireland, so... Authentic. And I went with my Bosconian shirt because it's the closest thing I had to a four-leaf clover. Some green, clo clo some clo green clover, up there so. on your... Yep, some green yeah, up there. There we go. Um, so we're going to be playing uh, five games today, um, starting off with UFO LCD, which is a worldwide exclusive of Excellent. this game. Um, and then we're going to be playing four games from Jared Kitchen, a.k.a. J-Rock. J-Rock. I did I'm, don't know if that's a coincidence or uh, <laughs> if anybody awesome. watches Trailer Park Boys. Yes. Yep, that's awesome. one of the names of the characters, like exactly. J -Rock. Spelt a little differently. This one's spelled with a K at the end. Is he from Canada? Don't know. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Don't know. Maybe. Yeah. I mean, it's pretty big in the U.S. as well. Mm -hmm. It's quite big. Yeah. Mm. Very popular. Or was at least. Yeah. Was. Yeah. yeah. I don't know how much, how much, how popular it is that's anymore. Cool. Yeah. Um, so I want to thank all the Twitch subscribers for supporting us. Uh, Cafe Man 2D, Captain Classic, Charles and Chuck, Dianoi, Dietrich 4, Drexel, Emmanuel Ferreira, Gretem's Ground Trooper, Gix 1978, Johnny WC 23, Kal Prime 1959, Carl G. Croco 2600, Laud Mott, MK Smith, Mr. Fix, Muddy Funster, Nathan Strum, RC70, Repentless VG, Retro Salary Man, Spartan 581, S. Ramirez 2008, The D Train 37, The Welsh Man 89, and Tiki Dan K. Look at all those names. I know, it's crazy. There's so many names. <laughs> Almost down off the, side. the page. Just yeah. having that font just keeps getting smaller and smaller. Crunching and smaller. down. Yeah, I've made it extend That's the awesome. full length now. Yes. And uh, we're still, we keep on breaking the record of how many yeah. people are subscribing. And if you want to support the channel too, you can do it for free, just like Repentless VG yeah, did woo! right there. He's. Upped it. He was on the list, but he's upped it. Uh, now he's on an eight-month streak. Very Thank you nice. so much, Repentless yeah. Fiji. You can do it for free if you have Amazon Prime and just link it to your Twitch Prime account and click subscribe, and everybody wins, hmm. and we're happy. Um, I want to thank everybody who's tuning in live as well on our Twitch stream because we do broadcast this live if you watch on YouTube later. Um, I want to thank Mad Max 2069, Dan AVC, Dianoid, hey Dianoid, mm -hmm. Thrust 26, uh, do, 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 uh, P1 H4, P1, LH4. Uh, I want to say Dan, Phil. I know. Every time like I Phil. see that, but I'm not sure. It's a bit, <laughs> the H would have to be after the P, be like Phil, Phil 4, but it's not Phil 4. It's like, yeah. yeah. And everybody else good. who is lurking out there, I. There's a bunch of people also just not talking. Yeah. And uh, Thrust26 says um, that Stella, a new version of Stella is coming out, um, which is very exciting. Yes. Uh, a bunch of new features. Uh, I'm sure you can find the new features on the Atari Age forums as they've been releasing the beta versions oh, cool. of it. I mean, I try and keep up with the beta versions. Yeah, because it supports and, and new, newer, newer, newer games, newer games yeah. and fixes bugs. And as long as it's stable, then it's mm. it's fine. Um, so and people are saying that, uh, yeah, different countries are on lockdown, which provides <sighs> you more time for Atari playing in, in, or more time to watch us. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Canada is still fine in terms of not being allowed outside. We're still allowed. Outside. I wouldn't say full lockdown, but they're definitely no. now very heavily curbing um public events and things like yeah that. public yeah. events are done in north america yeah um people big, are staying at groupings. home yeah they're hoarding they're doing things like that yeah um but still everything's fairly normal ish in western canada here yeah bc's kind of i mean with washington state and their issues and bc's had a few cases so yeah i think it's uh, it is what it is <laughs> but it's inevitable we will be on lockdown i'm sure in about two weeks so you may it's see more suspicion. of uh, this show every day <laughs> every day every day broadcast yes as we uh, catch up on our games we'll see yeah, yeah we'll see um 
so I ordered uh, in the mail news and feedback. I ordered a new Atari Vox, um, so we'll be able to play uh, Wizard of War without it cutting out soon. Mm. Um, just ordered that a couple days ago, or yes, two days ago, from Al, and also a bunch of boxes for Atari Twenty Six Hundred games that didn't have boxes before, mm. and also ones that had run out of boxes. So I'll be able to put some more of my cartridges into some nice boxes rather than just sitting out. Nice. And I always like the boxes because they have really nice well, you artwork. Can yeah. yeah, I can show them more more easily. Yeah. yeah. Very cool. Um, nice. Yeah, my boxes are kind of taken over the shelf there a little bit. Well, and soon it'll be like a whole row of Atari Twenty Six. Actually, I could probably you could do probably that now. Stack Just them. all Twenty Six Hundred games all the way yeah, across. Yeah, I think you probably could. Yeah. Um, but I've kept some of them out for um, these are this year's releases till I got the new system. Mm. So now I'll be able to go through that. Excellent. No one, no one shows. can see that because it's not on the camera. Yeah, it's but. just <laughs> a little bit up. We did point it up a couple episodes ago. To show what was there. To show what was yeah. there. Yeah, it's just uh, not in frame right now. Yeah. But there's lots of games to play now that we've got a system back. Yeah. It's not as good as the old system, but at least it's proper hardware. And speaking of proper hardware, what a segue. Um, I've been holding off to use this. This is um, Ranger Premium Wired Gamepad. It's a... A DB9 connector, so it's actually for Atari 2600. Mm. And the interesting thing, and why I bought this, is because it has a paddle mm. controller built into it That's on nice. the side. Yeah. Um, I've read some mixed reviews about it. The um, paddle, it, using the, the paddle itself. Using the paddle. Yeah. Um, that it, it's kind of recessed into the controller, um, so you can't easily get at it. But I've heard it's also sensitive mm. enough that you don't need to like. Turn it, it twice. Okay. Um, so now we can give it a try. We're going to give it a little demo cool. here and cool. uh, see how well it works for us. Um, so I'm going to open it right now and I'm going to play um, quickly. I mean, we're not doing a full game of it, but we're going to play probably Avalanche and Kaboom because those are the big... Those are the big paddle games. Big paddle games that you need a lot of sensitivity Sounds for cool. and, and um, you need to be quick on them. Mm. Um, so I thought those would be good um, games to demonstrate um, the paddle with. Careful. I haven't opened this. There's a cat. Yeah. Here we go. I think I'll peel Say it back. Hello, Atari. Than cut it. Hello, Atari. How you doing today? He's pretty happy. Good. He doesn't uh, seem to mind the uh, pandemic all that much. So. No, because you know maybe we'll get to be home more. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I well, work from I home, won't. so... <laughs> but that's no, okay. We're exceptions. Yeah. The original paddles only also only need less than a 90-degree turn for 160 pixels. Mm. Okay, so that's... Because that's about... You probably get a 120-degree turn out of this, because mm. it's not quite half. You can't get quite half of a turn out of it, from what I've seen. Mm. You can definitely get a 90-degree turn if they have the same sensitivity. Sensitivity. So, it may so be... That, uh, you might... Can you ever adjust the sensitivity on them, or no, no? No, I don't think so. I think it's it's it's, it's, it's pretty a built-in thing. Mm. Yeah, there's no sensitivity um, adjustment pot or anything on them. Okay, so that's the box. Let's get it out. And I also like the look of it. It's really nice colors. It's got that kind of browny wood finish, even though it's not it's not wood, obviously, but. So there it is. Um, anybody who follows 2600 have seen it. Other channels do it before. Um, mm. Show this off. It's a so nice it's, looking controller too. Yeah. So it it's got the paddle ergonomic. on the side. It does about one and a quarter turns fully. Um, oh, before it hits. Before it hits the side. Gotcha. Which, which is kind of the same as a normal paddle. Yeah. But when you're playing with a normal paddle, it's usually like a very small range okay. that it reads. It never reads the whole way. You're always... All, oh, well flying across. across. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well across, yeah. yeah. Uh, Circus Atari, work in progress for Mega Matrix. Oh, yeah, that would be a good one to try as well. Mm -hmm. um, it spins, not freely, but... It's a little stiff. With a little bit of stiffness. You can give it a try while sure. I unwrap this. Yeah. I like the controller. Yeah, it's a nice, neat little controller. Um, the thumbstick which uh, there's not too many. It's just one button, right? Yeah. One button, thumbstick. I generally like... And a little switch, so you uh, you don't need a Y connector. You can plug this directly in. You okay. don't need two of these for it to work. Um, there's a little switch between... Um, well, it says RS and LS. 
Uh, right stick, left stick? Oh, okay. No, it's on the is bottom. Is it right-handedness? Or? Here it is. Paddle mode and S mode. Oh, gotcha. Um, so left is that like, stick. Is so you can switch it, it around. Is it right, right and left-handed? That's that's actually yeah. really nice. If Because very few um, controllers allow, we'll allow for that. that. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's pretty Or cool. you'd have to turn it upside down. Yeah, it is it is a very, um, very nice-looking controller. Mm. I do like the design, and that's that's partly why I bought it. And partly to see how good the paddle is, because if it's serviceable and it's fine, um, it's a nice backup for the other paddles, because the other paddles are pretty good, but sometimes they get out of whack. So mm. if you can hold that. Mm -hmm. We're going to try um, Kaboom first, I think. Mm -hmm. um, go. Piece of trivia from Dianoid. Uh, I heard that Hyper can initially plan to have wood grain on the Ranger, Ooh. but wanted to avoid claims by Atari. Atari owns wood grain? <laughs> So changed it to a color stripe. Well, to be honest, I quite like the retro color stripe on it. I think that's quite nice. Seems a bit crazy that Atari yeah. would claim I, wood I grain. I like it. I, I like I the like look. Those still, he, it still has the brown, which to me is evocative of the it's Atari nice controller anyway. muted so. kind of yeah, brown as I like well. It. it also has kind of a 90s stripe yeah. to it. I okay. Ready? Oh, you have to switch it to paddle. Oh, yeah. What are we in? Where is it again? On the bottom? Should be Paddle on the top. Mode. Yeah. P. Yeah, it's okay. already there. So let me switch over so we can right. see. It's a dull looking. Am I holding this the right way? No. <laughs> well, you're using paddle to begin oh, with. Oh, that's true. <laughs> um, very faded looking. Okay, there we go. Now get your bearings before you start playing. Hmm. And the button will start. Terrible at this game to start with, so. Ah. Ah. There we go. I'm like, why is it so dull looking? I, I'm not quite used to it. Well, you're doing pretty good. I'm doing okay. <laughs> Boom only requires 180 pixels. Oh, okay, so it don't, doesn't go all the way. Thrust says I'm left-handed as well. Um, I like, uh, and now I'm learning about the Ranger after the fact I bought the original panels and taking apart to clean the pot, pots. I mean, the original panels are, are I love them. They're a really great input device. You'll and, have, um, sorry, you'll have to tell, when you play this, yeah. do you feel, if you feel a bit of a lag, because I feel oh. ever so slightly laggy, I don't know why. Should not be laggy whatsoever. But that's probably just me. <laughs> uh, but the, I mean, it works on a potentiometer inside, okay. so there may be an issue with. It feels ever so slightly laggy somehow, but I'm also not good with a paddle, so. Well, let me try it out. It's a little stiff. Do you feel lag? I feel lag. Uh, no. No, I, I mean sometimes you just mentally get used to it too, so. <sighs> Maybe, maybe there's a little bit of Initial delay, delay. Or, or it's yeah. not like kind of charging up the potentiometer as quick. Oh, it? yeah. You feel it, eh? Yeah. I'm not crazy. <laughs> yeah. It is a little laggy. It's also stiff compared to the regular paddle. Oh, yeah. It's quite stiff when you first start turning it. Um, but I wonder if the more you play it, maybe it'll loosen. I think it's hard it to say. It's probably... Um, it's not as intuitive, like what's left no. and what's right as well. No, yeah, Cause yeah. Because you have, you're like, you're, going like you're not this. holding it the same. You could hold it up, I guess. Yeah. It is. Yeah. Is it? Yeah, okay. holding it up right. Interesting. Ugh. Terrible at this game. Uh, I would not say this is a good substitute uh, for an actual paddle. Yeah. Um, let's get it on an actual paddle and, and actually compare. And like it. feel the difference. Yeah. Here while you're doing that. Oh. You have to restart on the system. Yeah. Mm. It's an old game. <laughs> oh, it's, it's not a new game. Here. Wait, oh, I, uh, get out the paddles, get out some real paddles. Uh, I'm definitely, something about this is not I heard that the best electronics refurbished paddles are fantastic. Oh, yeah, I've never ordered anything from, um, 
best electronics before, but they have a lot of stuff. Um, so I would think nothing beats the original paddles. Nothing feels Kilo says, yes. Yeah, I, I kind of agree with that. Lag will be really bad for a paddle. Yeah, there's just, yeah. A, just a feeling that it doesn't start yeah. moving immediately. Like with the original paddles, you can, like, it is moving instantly. Yeah. So I'll wait till you die, which will be very quick, because it's going to be fast. Yeah, there's definitely a touch. Just a slight delay. Yeah. You can kind of account for it, but not really. It's weird because it feels stiff. It almost feels like the stiffness of it is, is impacting the turning, but... Yeah, well, I can tell just by looking at it, it's... Also, the size of it. It feels like little fine yeah, muscle movements where this is like your whole... Your whole... Yeah, this is definitely better. Although I'm feeling a little bit of lag with this too, but that's just... You can see how it's jumping around a little from small movements. Well, it's much more sensitive. The jitter is always there. I mean... No, but it's much more sensitive. The other one didn't have any jitter. Yeah, the other one I like, think is locked down. The, I mean, jitter comes from just not having used it for a while. And here, let me... Yeah, you're... Again. <laughs> you just do this a bit and it kind of uh, oh, gets I it see. going. I see. You need to uh, kind of get the connection... Clean? Oh. There, we, yeah, clean, clean it off. I mean, opening it up is a better way to do it. Oh, this is yeah, night a day. million times. Better. Yeah, it, it's quite stiff, and and it, yeah, not as responsive somehow to to the movement. Oh, so that was a waste of money. Oh, well. <laughs> it's nice. Looking. I wonder. I wonder if there's a way to kind of. Yeah. But here's the thing, the size of the paddle, so the, the size of the knob, if you just compare them, I don't know if you can see that, like, like, oh, yeah. controlling something, each of those sizes, oh. this is so fiddly and you can't, you can't control it with your whole hand, so you're just yeah. using your finger movement. And it's difficult, like if it was the same size, it would be a lot better, but still there's that or lag. Or if it, if it protruded a bit and you could kind of hold it and turn it, then it might be a little bit easier to control. A little control. bit easier, but still the size is a huge factor, I think. I, I think it should be, I, I think um, what you mentioned before, the fact that they, it's held recess. flush. Yeah, it's recessed. Um, can't get a full grip on yeah. it. Yeah, you're not your, holding it. You have to just, use your fingertips. Yeah, which is terrible. which is more uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah, this is but just mild. Better. It's a neat idea to try and incorporate both into one into yep. one control. I mean, they did that with. Um, it does allow you to Gemini. play those games if you only have one control, right? But it's just not a, not nothing yeah. like an actual. Time. That's the one advantage. You don't need to switch controllers, but yeah. it's not an advantage if you can't play the game. Mad Max 2069. Uh, well, I'm glad I went with the original pad paddles then. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So. He said there must be dirt in the pots, which must be when oh, you're talking about the jittering. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, if you look now, it's it's you almost th perfect. Thrust 26, like you could glue something on top. Yeah, actually, you could. You could just oh. stick something on top, like a, a, little, yeah. a little adaptive bit to yeah. stick on there. Some sort of wheel. Yeah. I don't know what you could get. Any kind of round thing, just, you just stick it right on top. Yeah. That's the size of this or even bigger. Or, yeah, even bigger. Yeah, actually. Hyperkin. That, hey, man. It doesn't like. <laughs> solve the big problem of no. that, that small little lag of non-movement. Here's the thought. What they could have done with the controller is had something, had little pins that you could stick something to so you could use it. Like an extra piece that you oh. would stick to it that would like yeah. latch into it that you could turn on top and then remove if you wanted to use it as a flat controller. Yeah. I mean, you'd probably end up... Losing that piece that goes on top, you know, within two weeks, because that's oh, what happens. But what yeah, you could um... you could stick some like a bigger paddle on top, and then it might be more usable. But it's very cool. Uh, what am I looking for here? So this is your Atari Junior. Yes. That you you modded for composite. Is that correct? Uh, yeah. Okay. I'm trying to uh, avalanche. That's right. It's at the top. Yeah, I, I modded it for composite, and it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. No, I think it. Ah. I, I I'm I, it's uh it's I'm glad that you've got it working. So. Oh, me too. Yeah. Oh, God damn. It's like, it's, it's like the dinner. last one on the first page. Oh. Why is it jumping? Just because of the way. Uh, there we 
go. Uh, why did it work once? Oh, no, it's not working. Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay. We're just going to play Avalanche for a second. Way better than RF. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, it is. <laughs> it's way better than RF, but it's nowhere near RGB. Yeah. It still looks pretty good, at, though, I think, on the stream. Oh, yeah, it's it's yeah. quite... it's it's decent. I mean, it's way better than RF, and, and the authenticity of playing an actual system is, is good, because we can't really move. But without a proper adapter, we couldn't play paddle games. You have to get a, a USB, DB90 USB adapter. This is John Champeau's game. No, not... John? Is it John? Yeah, it's John Champeau. Ah, ah. This is punishes you for getting further in the game. Ah, Because ah. it takes away your. Uh... <laughs> what are you doing? I'm just moving it to see if. Uh, oh, it'll it, it, it'll, uh, it'll gets loosen less up stiff. a little. Yeah. Ah, damn it! So hard. Don't mind me. I'm just fidgeting here. <laughs> <laughs> No. I doubt it. I love this. I love the tones, the sounds. It is wonderful. What are people saying? Oh, uh, just Mad Max 2069. I would love to mod my 2600. It is well worth it as as long as you don't worry about, uh, you know, you do have to cut some things and mod some and change some things. But uh, the output, like definitely on RGB, is well, well worth it. Mm. It is so gorgeous. Um, okay. Shall we try it with this one? I uh, don't really care about that one, but I we'll see give if it a I've try. softened it up. <laughs> I doubt. Just a showpiece at this point. <laughs> okay. Let's see. It's not working. Turn it all the way. Oh. Oh, yeah, maybe I'm not in the middle there. Yeah. It's, there we go. Yeah. Still lagging. Yeah? Still feel that initial lag before it starts moving? It feels maybe marginally better. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> it's a good game. Yep. Ah! Ah! Hey, you get more things to catch the uh, yeah. falling boulders with, but... Uh, there's more falling at once, but they're not as fast. It does get faster. Does it get faster? They get smaller. As they get smaller, and you get less buckets mm. to catch them in. It's a good you... way of ramping up the uh, difficulty. Yes. Because right now they're not faster, but they're smaller, and yeah. Ah! Uh, <laughs> you want to No try picture it? of gameplay. Oh, oh, sorry. I was going to switch to something else. Yeah. Apologies. No, I don't want to play it. No. I already played it. You want to try? You don't want to try it with this? Oh, with that. I feel like it sure. got a little bit better. <laughs> we can only see the reflection in the back. That's oh, why we have. Oh, the, that's right. why we have the, the pictures Special behind mirror. us. Special mirror. Yeah. Um. It feels slightly better. It does. Fiddling with it a little a did touch, loosen it a touch. A touch more responsive and not yeah. so stiff, but yeah. it's still not a not a perfect substitute. But yeah, yeah after playing with it, it's. Uh, it's it actually did it's get not a bad. little better. It did get a little better. Yeah, so really, really, if you if you do get one or have one... But I think you could probably get these for cheaper. Well, maybe. But you, you get both in one. I mean, that's the advantage. If true. you're taking If you're bringing something with you, maybe, if, if that's you're taking true. it on a trip or... For portability. For portability. You only need one thing to yeah. play. I mean, that there's an advantage to that. I, I love the idea of it. I think maybe, um, yeah, it needs to be, it needs, if it were bigger... The paddle itself were bigger, but actually um, moving it around a bit did seem to help. Okay, let's get into the actual show. Yay! Later on with that. The actual show. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Thank you. Press the middle button, please. I don't know why the Atari box is oh, oh, yeah. like, isn't. Oh. Like, um. Did I do that? No, it's all good. Oh, okay. Just lagged. So, 
We're, the first one up is UFO LCD um, by Scott Dayton. Mm -hmm. And uh, he posted about this in the Atari 2600 Homebrew uh, Facebook forum, a uh, Facebook group, um, initially on August 28th, 2019. This build is the uh, final cartridge build. Um, this is this game's only available on cartridge, so I want to say thank you very much to Scott for allowing us to play this on the show mm. um, before the cartridges have got to the people, because right now it's on uh, pre-orders. Gotcha. Okay. Um, right now there are seven carts left if uh, wow. people do want to get this out of uh, 30. Um, so there are some carts left. It's uh, available on the Atari 2600 Homebrew Games Facebook group. So if you like what you see, then uh, you can uh, run out and get it right now. Um, and this is this game is kind of based on those LCD handheld games um, from mm. the uh, okay, yeah, from the eighties, like the Game and Watch kind of stuff. Yeah, the yeah. Game and Watch, um, much like uh, like these, um, and you've. You've seen all these. Before. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, this one is uh, Mario Cement Factory. Uh, a lot of them had just left and right and a fire button. Um, some had up, down, and like multiple screens. Let me see if I can get a multiple screen on. Uh, I think this one has multiple screens. It should. This one is Mario Brothers multi screen, where you control two characters on either side of the screen mm -hmm. as. Uh, they make cement again. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, this one is Donkey Kong 2. I have a whole ton of them up there. And they're also very reminiscent of... This one is a uh, multi-screen as well. And this one is a full D-pad. And this is where D-pads actually first appeared. Is on oh, these uh, Game & Watch. That makes sense, yeah. Yeah. Um, yes, no two-player paddle uh, games with uh, Hyperkin. No. So I don't know how many there are of two-player paddle games. Not a ton. So yeah. you be you will be missing out on those if you do want to play yeah. two-player games with that. You'll have to get the original paddles for that. Um, but this is a throwback to those type of games. Um, yes. The UFO LCD. Um, so let's just jump into it because it is fairly self-explanatory. Mm -hmm. Um you have to get to the other side without getting hit by the UFOs. I think you could press the button to start. Yeah. So you have to get to the other side? Yep. Oh. Oh, okay. Without getting hit <laughs> by the UFOs. Fair enough. Fair enough. Um, so this is a 4K game. Uh, other games he's done, Alien Greed, Alien Greed 2, Alien Greed Adventure, Alien News, Dead Road, and a ton more. I was trying to collect them before the show. But he's... And a, just a massive amount of hacks as well. Um, so this is available on cartridge. This is the instructions from Scott. The game recreates the classic LCD handheld games from the past. Strange alien creatures are invading, and the only thing you can do to survive is to run. Start on difficulty A for more invaders. Right, we're now, right now we're on B, so we're on the easy setting. Really? <laughs> yeah. Run to the other side of the screen without getting touched by an invader. 200 points for a fast run, and 100 points for all others. So you got 400. No, that was terrible. <laughs> yeah. Um, you will get thrown out of the starting position after a few seconds. Yeah, that's that's what was... This. Good good information. That's good yes. information. Yes, yes. Um, so the seven carts left. Uh, numbers 20, 22, 23, 25, 26, 28, 29 are available. Um, so you get either 100 or 200 points. Now you can see how this game works. It's not smooth movement, it's positions. And that's how the LCD games yes, worked. Yes, you're jumping across. It's kind of lights up parts of the screen to simulate movement. Um, so it would... But this one doesn't exactly simulate because there are different creatures appearing over top where other ones would. But yeah. it's, it's similar to that. Um, a way that this could do it to perfectly simulate it is to offset the creatures and have like three different kinds and they're all a little bit offset or a little bit above or below and that's how they um kind of faked it out where you could have multiple creatures or you could have like say his arm would be up or down there'd be two parts and you would just light up which position the arm you want in to be in 
Um, Hyperkin now sells an adapter to play with two paddles. Oh, thank you very much, Repentless VG, for yeah. that update. Um, I have to say this is a fairly simple game. <laughs> oh. We'll have to set it to the hard level then. Yeah. Up to 1300 now. As long as there's a safe spot. Well, yeah, and... That's the challenge. The f I didn't realize you were getting kicked off the side and things oh. like that, but once you kind of... Uh-oh. This is going to be... You can go back. Yep. There you go. Yeah. My turn next. They so don't... Do your best. They don't seem to be increasing in speed. No. And usually that that was the factor that happened in those, in those games, is it just increased in speed because they can't do a lot more with it or increase the numbers mm -hmm. but i guess on the easy level the numbers are fairly static of the creatures the enemies so far it yeah. doesn't really increase too much we have still tell. got three lives oh my yeah. goodness <laughs> that's what i said and yeah, we will have to put this in the hard level yeah i think so requiring adapter is quite a step back from what Oops. was possible from more than 40 years ago <laughs> yeah that's true But not, it doesn't really require an adapter. I mean, it does if you buy, you have to buy two of them. Yeah, that's the thing. If you want to play a two player game, you'll have to buy two of them rather than um, this comes with two, like automatically they're wired together. Um, unless you get a Gemini system and the Gemini systems had controllers just like this. Mm -hmm. They had a joystick instead of a, a thumb thumb pad, um, a joystick and a paddle. And the paddle was mounted better. It wasn't quite as big as this, but I don't think I have any out right now. They're all in boxes. I'm not going to go dig for a Gemini controller, but you can look them up online. And I remember my uh, friend having a Gemini system. Ooh, run, run, run. No. Run, run, run fast. No, um, it kicked me out, but uh, yes. now they're coming down in threes. Oh, are they? Okay, yeah. so it does no, increase. No, I might die. Or, yeah. I didn't get I over. I should have held it. It, did it doesn't matter. This. You have to go click, 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 I find. 2,700. Nah. Eh. Nah. Uh, I don't know. You. I don't think you can hold. I, you have to go click, click, nope, click. You can. can you? Yep. Oh, okay. That's, well, then that's, again, good to know. <laughs> it, it didn't seem to do that for me oh. when I was holding it. But uh, maybe I wasn't pushing it fur further enough to the side. Maybe. Or hard Hi, enough. Hi, Tari. Hey, buddy. I think the one thing you have to watch out for is that wall, that you're not up against it being pinned when things are coming I've never down, had an issue, up. though. I don't think I've been no? killed at the wall on the on the far right side. Uh, I haven't no, been no, killed no. at the wall. Can they come? They can come down they there. Can, I, I, I think like in, in theory, position? but they generally don't. Hmm. It's worse um, being kicked out. Like, that's that's kind of the worst thing is getting kicked yeah. out of the, so the left-hand side. Get out when you can, I yeah. guess. Oh, 200. You get a little bit more if you do it fast. Uh oh, look, yeah. waves. Oh no, oh, what? They disappeared. Yeah, that's oh, weird. Oh, that's nice. That didn't happen last nice time. Nice of them. <laughs> Maybe that's easy, easier level. How much did you get? Twenty-seven. Okay. You're getting you're Nobody's getting yours recording. a lot faster, so that's yeah, that's okay. Nobody's typing them out. I think you you've Arena been doing. Flood, where are you? you got a few fast ones in there, oh. so your your score goes up faster. Because I've been holding it. Yeah, it I haven't been holding faster. it. I've been going click, 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 click the whole time. That's what I always try in every video game right away. Is well, it didn't seem to work. I may, I must it, not have been pushing it further enough to the side. Yeah. Does with it the, have with rapid that fire? Yeah. And can you move automatically? Those are the two. Yeah. Because there's only so many options you can do with one button. Yeah. So I always. But try I mean, those if you have out. if you have the like the little joystick, it probably does it automatically. So. The D pads, I find, you have to push harder. Hmm. Yeah, I had a little bit of trouble with um, the arcade sticks um, on this system. I've, oh, really? I haven't had try time to troubleshoot what's going on with them. So, Interesting. Ooh, better run, 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 run. There we go. Because um, they require a little bit more power. Mm. See, they disappeared in the middle there. Yeah. Interesting. It kind of... Ah, run. Resets a bit, I think. Something mm -hmm. like those middle guys. That, oh, you oh, beat me. Oh, they stick. <laughs> But I got to the level with three, so oh. I think you got more faster, faster runs in. Yeah. Um, oh, still two hundred. I thought that was going to be a slow one. I wonder what the time limit is. I don't know. Is. Yeah, interesting. Oh, that's a hundred. You have to be fairly fast, but I guess with a fast run, you have to 
run the whole way through. Pretty much. It might be within one. Yeah. Um, whoa, I went right. Oh, you can go through the wall. Yeah. Within one flash of a wall. Yeah. No, not even. No. You have if it's if you stop, I think. Yeah. Nah, well, maybe yeah, you can maybe. stop briefly. I don't know. That pressing, see, that's pressing, a fast pressing. run, but then the door. Yeah. So it doesn't door matter if the me. door stops you. Right. If you go all the way across, then you get two hundred. Very quick. Yeah. No, I stopped, and it still gave me. Very 200. briefly, yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Now you've got three. You're in the threes now. Okay, good. Ramping up a bit. Yeah. Still have... Did I lose a life? No. Not yet. No, not yet. <laughs> 5,000. <000. laughs> I always like well. playing... Um, I know I make this joke all the time. Um, playing exclusive world debuts. Because <laughs> I have the world record right now. <laughs> world record holder in UFO LCD. Go, go, go. Oh, go, go, go. Oh, look at that. Just tons of them. Yeah, definitely a lot. I mean, it's still not hard. Uh, it's no. it's like... <laughs> it's 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 a pretty straightforward... Ooh, it's going to kick me out. Yeah. Um, I wonder what the... How many across will be for... Maybe you'll get four at some point. I mean, Maybe. they're doubling up in some of the levels, so it ends up being more than three across, but... They can't really do four easily on this system. You don't think three? so, no? Three is, three is be the, the max. maximum. Yeah. I mean, unless they coordinate uh, the rows of enemies coming down. Yeah. Like, together. Well, hopefully you'll get far enough up. I mean, they're coming down in sixes. <laughs> I think it's... <laughs> but, yeah, that's, uh, that's what I was thinking that they would do on the yeah. harder levels. Go, go, go. Yeah. Um... Go, go. <laughs> hey, Trey guy. Welcome to the show mm -hmm. today. I know. It's a Sunday. It's odd. It's strange. It's wonderful. Sunday's Sunday's fun day. It's more relaxing. Yeah, it is more I don't relaxing. Because we don't have to have dinner. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. Look. Well, you were trapped. You were trapped. You, yeah, can't go back to the, you can't go back to the starting position, so. No. Look at them all. They're all bunching up at the top there. Yeah. Look at that, six, and then another row. Yeah. Like, oh, you are you run really fast, yeah. It's in the timing. Go! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you really There's definitely to... more bunching up, but it, yeah. I haven't seen... Oh! Oh, why? Oh, wow! Oh, they're, they're... Oh, they're right down the edge there, see? Whoa, wow, okay. that's interesting. So triplicate wide. Yeah. Triplicate wide? Yeah, now that definitely... Oh, they're all over the place. Look, they're, yeah. it's not even safe for in the starting position now. Oh, yeah, we've gone up a level now. Yeah. Go. Go back uh, one. You should have gone back yeah, one. Yeah, I should have gone back one. Stupid. Yeah, Is that too it? aggressive. Yeah, 8,100. Oh, 8,100. Okay, World we're going to go on the higher, <laughs> higher level now. It, it might ramp up faster, is my suspicion. Do you think? That's um, my prediction. Yep, either ramp up fast. Oh, it's already at three. Uh, that, I, knew, I thought that's where it might start. Because it took a little while to get to three it for did. me. It did. I don't know if they do it by score. Usually by score. I'm going to get yeah. kicked out there. Ugh, I couldn't have... Look at all. The door blocked me. Oh. That's the yeah. first time that's really... What is going on here? They're already in the super <laughs> <Whoa>. hard mode. <laughs> that's nuts. How could you die over there? That should be know. a winning position. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> but, he, oh, I think he was already there and you uh. moved into him. <laughs> 400. That's rough. Okay. I need to play again. Level. Yeah. Okay. I'm holding it down now. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. If, if you can make it over, just run. Okay, right, we're almost at your score now. 400 was not a good run. Oh, uh, I was getting used to it. <laughs> yeah, they're faster moving. Ah, nuts. Yeah, fast. Definitely faster. Yeah. And it ramps up the. There you go. Now it's going to be all divide -y. Oh, no, not no, yet. Not yet. But it got there very fast. Oh, right away. There it is. Thousand. A thousand it got up. But yeah, I wasn't watching for the spaces in between. And that's why I couldn't cope with this one. I was just mm. trying to get across. Not realizing, yeah, there's now spaces that you can... No, oh. it's going to kill me. Yep. 
the guy was already there. Quit I moving. shouldn't. I, yeah, you know what? I shouldn't have moved over. Have moved no, no. I, 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 it's not that. It's I should have waited. Oh, I didn't mean to go back to. <laughs> Twelve hundred. <laughs> that was terrible. <laughs> but fun. Yeah. This is definitely better. Definitely play on the heart. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because it, it's so slow to ramp up. You just feel like you're running across the screen on the easy level. It's definitely, definitely more fun. Yeah, a lot more challenging. Yeah. And I, I found a lot of those LCD games quite hard, mm. quite challenging. Like this would be like the default level. Oh my God! No, I'm gonna run, 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 run. Oh. Uh, I think you have to be more mindful when, when they're spread out like that. Yeah, you, you have to be strategic. Yeah. And move back sometimes. Like look at it. Look at all these guys. Yeah. Get, you, you do. Go, you go, have go, go, to. Go. You have to have the timing down. And if you get blocked by a wall, you have to think about. You can't run into the guy on the other side of the wall. Yeah. That's what happened to me twice. And it's like, oh no, you, you you will run into that dude. So you have to not run right across. Yeah, there, there's been a couple games like this made for the 2600. Um, mm -hmm. I can't remember the name of the other one I know. But it was more of a catching game, I think. Mm -hmm. Where you have to or a ball catching or one like one of the original games for this was um a juggling game if i believe mm. if i'm correct um oh god oh i didn't mean to move too yeah uh, yeah it's a little sensitive yeah, yeah. It's 1300 what did yeah. you get i can't remember 1200 maybe 1200? i don't know something like that how about blip football even more simple than this one yeah you could do blip football if you go back to like the really early games where it was just lights mm. a lot of the um early lcds they weren't even lcds they were like light bulbs that lit up on your screen mm. those were the first ones actually the very first ones i remember my friend having um a racing game where it was physical like a physical little strip of a car that you moved back and forth oh dead. um and then other cars would come back, come at you, but they were like on a, a plastic strip that would rotate around. Mm. Oh, damn it! Try to move one, and it would know where those other cars were. Somehow, like there was a little, like, piece of plastic or something that it would know that that it was like be like a physical collision. Um, okay. Yeah. Kind of like a, um, a record, like, you know, record player, plastic record players that they had. Those kids' record players. Um, I know what you mean. Do the, click the tines on it. I'm not even concentrating on this. No, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> trying to explain it. Yeah, 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 yeah. But my friend had one of those, too. Yeah. Um, and I did, I, I didn't know how to play football. Like, I didn't know the rules of it. Yeah. So, I... I did have a friend who had that football version yeah and i would just like just move the dots around and yeah. try and get it to the other side somehow yeah, yeah. which um, is well pretty close to what you're trying to do anyway yeah yeah <laughs> pancake was another lcd one yeah there is a homebrew okay. of this of blip football oh there is okay uh, yeah blip has, football pancake oh, okay. i hesitate Neat. to play any football game because <laughs> i know nothing about football so i would just I'd be like stunned and people would just yell at me in, yeah. in the chat. <laughs> Any other game, I'm pretty good. Like I could play hockey a baseball or, or a yeah, hockey one yeah, or a soccer true. one. But football, like... It's not just, part of your... I have no idea. I've never even looked into how... You've never watched a football game? I've, I've did your, seen did one. Did your dad ever take you to a BC Lions game or something Never like football. That? Never football. Never oh, football. Okay. It would be like hockey or uh, baseball, baseball or soccer. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. never Welcome football. to Canada. Yeah, football is... <laughs> Be the exact is, opposite in the U.S., but... <laughs> football is very small compared to other sports. Other we sports. do have our own league. Um, oh, yeah, no. CFL, Canadian and, Football And there league. are people who are very much into football, but it's yeah. just different. It's just yeah. not as big. Like, football yeah. is everything in the U.S., yeah. right? Yeah. Um, I think hockey is... is hockey's like everything, everything up here. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Um, so, different really culture. fun game. Yeah. This is really, really good. Because um, I didn't know what to expect out of an LCD game, but they, um, Scott was able to make it really good, especially with a higher level. It's quite challenging. Hmm. And you can make it up to the, the hard level. Um, it takes a little while. So it's, it, I think the two 
settings are good. Like the beginning uh, one is good for kids. Uh, like well, you have to think about kids playing it. Yeah, I, I think the beginning one. I think kids would would figure it out pretty quick though. Yeah. It's it's too it's simple. It's a simple game. Yeah. I think the the beginner level is good to just get used to the the controls. But that's true. But, but you want to you want it to ramp up, up fairly quickly. So yeah. and the hard level does ramp up really. Oh, quick, right actually. away. It's <laughs> like you're you're jumping in at a higher level right away, which yeah. is good. Yeah, I like that. Um, so there good. are, if you do like it, there are some available still. Um, so look out for the thread on Facebook, um, the Facebook group called Atari 2600 homebrew games. If you're a member of it already, if you're not, make sure you join right now, if mm -hmm. you want to, or just uh, message Scott Dayton, Scott Dayton on uh, Facebook. Mm -hmm. Um, so the next game we're going to be playing is called charge. Um, it's by Jared D kitchen. Next four games we'll be playing is by him. Okay. Pull down the middle button, please. Uh, I had the Atari Vox wired in um, and working last episode, but now it's it's not registering on here. I don't know why. Oh, no, it is. It comes through the microphone. That's why. I'm not seeing it, so it should be fine. Um, so go down to charge, if you can, please. Under, what are we? Uh, today's date. Okay. J-Rock. And this one, this first first posted July nineteenth, two thousand eleven. This build is from September fourth. Uh, yeah, that one. That one. Uh, September fourth, two thousand eleven. It's thirty two K DPC plus game. Other games made by him: Armageddon Planet Complex, Charge, Circus Galacticus, Knight Rider, Mega Italian Qu Twins, Red Shirts, which we have played before. I mm. was very impressed with the graphics mm. and animation on it. Um, Santa's Scabs. That's not a good thing. It's still um, going, yeah. Uh, shoot and jump demo, Star Crusade, uh, Superman, and Brainiac. I might have to restart. Yeah. Mm. We could try it on the Uno cart, too. Let me try it again. Yeah, try it again. Usually it either works or it doesn't. Yeah. Put the button held down. Uh, oh, Sorry, I didn't. Okay. Try it again. Uh, in the meantime, I will prep the Uno cart. <laughs> Just in case. Because the Uno cart does work on this system. That's a bonus. Because mm. um, somebody said, hey, now that you've got your new system, try out the Uno cart. I'm like, yep, it works on everything I've thrown at it. Just a couple things. But all the stuff that didn't work before. Yeah, it's still hanging, I think. Mm. Mm. I do like the little... Uh... Spinny things good. Yeah. Yin yang spinny that they put up on the screen, but uh, it's definitely not the same as playing a game. No. Okay. Oh, so. I suppose says Uno Kart does not run DPC. Oh, that's plus. right. Okay, we'll have to go emulator on this one. Luckily, it's all still good. Hmm. All still hooked up because we've been using emulator for a long time. So let's get the emulator up and going. Put that down. Well, thank you very much, uh, I suppose, for letting us know that or mm -hmm. reminding me of that. Yeah, it doesn't do CDF, CDFJ games, and DPC Plus games. Um, I believe it doesn't do CDFJ games or CDF games. So let's go to this and. Load up charge on here, which I know it works because I've been playing around with it a little bit. Um, Not really playing emulator? it, but very excellent. There we go. The uh... there we go. Excellent. Um, let's get the right game. Game number two. There we go. You got we'll minimize that. Chat's on the screen? Yeah. <laughs> Here we so, go. Just one second. There. Okay. So there's charge. That could be the old DPC plus driver with the Encore hardware firmware. Uh, okay. That's quite possible. That's that's too bad. Um, so he'll have to issue another update, even though he hasn't been on the Atari Age forums in a couple of years. Oh, so maybe he'll get an email notice because I 
I said I was going to be playing his games today, so he might get an update. Yeah. Maybe he'll be able to put out a new version. Yeah. Um, so this is Charge. Um, none of these games that we're playing today are finished. Um, so there might be little issues here and there, mm. but I, I, it looks like most of them are um, quite playable. Okay, that's uh, good. Playable enough to show off what's going on. Mm. Yeah. Ah! Oh my god! Forgot. One second. Let me turn down the volume. Turn it down here. I have an encore, uh, Harmony Encore. Yeah. Mm. So, uh, this is char Charge. Uh, the story The Kingdom of Nirata is under attack. Armed with your lance, your bow, and your trusty steed, you must defend the realm from the relentless hordes of soldiers, horsemen, and fire breathing dragons. I can go backwards. Uh, patrol the roads that encircles your kingdoms, using your arrows to slay the dragons in the sky, the footmen advancing through the fields. Got him. Ah! Yeah, that was a good shot. Uh, but beware the dragon's fiery breath, the lance of enemy knights, and other deadly hazards and foes which may befall you. Playing the game. Your objective is to destroy the marauding dragons, wizards, and other foes while defending your castles from harm. You begin the game with three castles <laughs> and three paladins. Uh, to defend them with. Each paladin comes equipped with armor that is gradually depleted by enemy attacks. A lance for jousting knights... <laughs> And a magic bow. How do, how do I use the lance? Left and right, and press the button. There you go. Can I get it? Oh, try it now right. without. Just try it now. Left, to right, press the button. Oh, there you go. I see. see. Um, and a magic bow that can fire an unlimited number of arrows into the sky. The number of remaining armor points and paladins is displayed at the bottom of the screen along with the player's score. Uh, armor points is yes on your left there. And paladins displayed on the right. Yeah. Uh, paladins. Oh no, paladins is your your little lines there. Sorry. Uh, along with your current score, which is forty five at the moment. Horse looks cool, but something is wrong with the back legs when moving. Yeah, they're a little, they get a little short, don't they? It's because of the width of the horse. I'm guessing he couldn't kick the legs back completely because there's mm. not enough room. Because the horse looks... Ah. Looks like it's a two times sprite. Is it? Yeah, it might be a two times sprite, at least at certain points. <laughs> um, I don't know why. I'm... So Some it's like 16 wide crazy. and there's just not enough for the legs. If there's any way you could have fixed that. Maybe you could just extend them further down. Yeah. But down would be possible. Yeah, down would be possible. Got a little hurt there. Yeah. Oh, level two? I, that's level two. That's... You're on level two. Oh, I got I got a replenishment of stuff here, which is good. Yeah. Um, use the left just joystick to maneuver your paladin's horse around the gray, uh, dark gray road area. The road is a loop around the kingdom, so moving in one direction long enough will bring you back to where you started. Pressing the joystick's fire button will draw the bow. Releasing it shoots an arrow into the air on a slight forward arc. If you hold the joystick left or right while holding down the fire button, your horse will charge as fast as you gallop. Uh, your galloping paladin will automatically engage his lance, making it possible for you to kill advancing enemy knights. Charge includes multiple wave attacks. In each wave, you must first clear the sky of enemies, then destroy the enemies that remain on the road. So it's the uh, it's the dragons first oh. that you want to kill. Do you hear that? Hmm? Dragons first. Yes, yes, okay. yes. Um, uh, after the road is cleared of enemies, there will be a brief interlude during which your castles and armor are slightly repaired. Any bonus men you earn during the wave are applied. After the interlude, the next wave begins, gradually increasing the challenge to the player. Oh, what was that? I don't know. I don't know. It looked like somebody wearing a dress. She fell into the grass. <laughs> Maybe we're supposed to catch he, her? He, we'll I don't know. I know, because he, he disappeared from the... Like, I can't go onto the grass. No, I no, you can't. Everything's on its own level. There we go. Um, which is how you make, um, 
how you utilize the Atari 2600 to its fullest capabilities is stacking things vertically so that you can draw lots, lots of different things. Because there's the tree, there's a castle, they're never on the same screen, there's a dragon in the sky, there's a guy running on the grass, and you can make them look really, really nice because you can use two sprites for each. He's used just one uh, for the guy. But something else might happen in that. Um, looks nice. Yes, I found um, J-Rock's um, graphics to be incredible. Like, really well drawn, really well animated. Like, look at the horse. It's just amazing. And the, and the dragon looks like a duck a little bit. <laughs> when he's flying up <laughs> because it looks a little bit compact but you're looking at him head straight on um where are we your score points whenever you kill a dragon with various breeds earning different points values have you seen different colors well dragons? some take more shots oh oh no what oh he's killing you kill him he's I, destroying your cat I, oh it's I'm burning. trying to <laughs> it's your castle is bonfire no uh-oh Oh, you made it to wave three. Yeah, no, I'm. Middle. a lot of my buildings are dead, you can see by my red. Oh, you get a little bit back. Well, there's one building. Get a little bit back. Two buildings. Now, I see, I didn't realize they were running to burn down your castles, which makes sense. And that one is that in was... smoldering ruins. <laughs> it's not on fire anymore. It's All the wood's burnt, but yeah. it's, it's, they it's smoldering. Rebuilt. They rebuilt. Oh, the dragon's huge. It's huge. Uh, I would have played this a oh. lot back in the day, Cafe Man 2D says. Oh, yeah. uh, I suppose that there was a smooth scroll of the screen option la uh, added later. The DPC Plus basic development. This guy. He's huge. Uh, you can also score points by killing any other enemy as long as all of your castles are still intact. Oh, so you don't get points. What is happening? Is somebody killing one of your castles? I don't know. No, because... Oh. Oh, what is this? Oh, he's hidden. He's going for your castle. He's getting there. What is he? <laughs> oh, he got go. it. Why uh, is he white? Is he something different? Oh, it's, it's getting darker. Um, some wave features special foes who must be defeated to advance with unique rewards for doing so. And that castle's oh, no, no, it's half been, health. It, it's, it's, oh... <sighs> There's a bit of a bug there where the lance kind of stays on the screen, doesn't it? No, no, that's that's the guy you're attacking. It shows you where he is. Oh, it's an indicator. Oh, well, that's handy. I'm, I'm really bad with this. You have to gallop and get your lance up. Uh, when a paladin's armor points are fully de depleted, the current hero dies. A new one will appear until all your remaining paladins are lost. At the beginning of each wave, the kingdom will fortify itself for the next attack in the following waves. Your paladin will recover an armor point for each surviving castle. Oh no, your castle is in ruins. Oh, I'm gonna die very soon. Oh, he's hitting you with his lance. I know, I don't know how to... How am I supposed to hit him? High or low? Just straight on, I think. I don't know. It's, oh, he, I swear he just respawned. <laughs> uh, at 500 points, you receive a bonus <sighs> Shoot. paladin. You didn't that's make fun. it to 500. Wow. No? No, oh, that's the first... Better than that. <laughs> that's the first, uh, first yeah, time you get one. Pretty fun, though. There you go. You can re read past that at 500 points. Yep. It's pretty fun. There's a lot of elements in that game. Ah. I really like that. Oh, what did she do? <laughs> trying to dust There's a off. lot going on at once, which is really nice, because yes. to be honest, a fair number of Atari games are quite simple, but there's at least three different kinds of foes you have to deal with at the same time. Yeah, that's Which incredible. is really cool. And then you're also looking at your castles burning, and yeah, it's really neat. So, each of your surviving castles will undergo repairs, recovering 8 hit points per round. If a castle was destroyed in the previous wave, the flaming ruins will be extinguished. The castle's excuse me, smoking rubble will be able to be rebuilt after the conclusion of the current wave. So, if it di does end up in smoking ruins, it's yeah. not going to get built back up until the end of the next round. Oh, okay. Yeah. But only one of them. The game ends either of the following conditions. You have lost all your remaining paladins, all of your castles are destroyed, and the current paladin dies. Press reset or the left joystick fire button to begin a new game. Controls joystick move horse in eight directions along the road. Press fire button, draw bow. Release fire button, shoot arrow. 
Hold fire button and joystick left, right, charge. Ow! Ow! Oh my god. Yeah, you have to keep your lance up. You need to be moving for your lance to be up. So if you turn oh. around, he's going to kill you, right? So you have to get a good You have head to get started. a run. You have to get a That's run on. That's what was happening. Yeah. So if you get hit, you're it's difficult to get back yeah. going. Again. So there's the paladin. Oh, she he t took the princess. Look. Yeah. Oh, That's from the what castle? Yeah. Ah. Well, that makes sense. Do I have to catch her? I don't think so. Do you? No, she kind of disappeared in the grass. So there's dragon. There's the dragon's breath. There's bats. I haven't seen ah. any bats yet. No, I made part. Uh, the castle, the foot soldier. I there's a little display here. Uh, foot soldiers. Obviously the, the opposing knight. Ah. Armor remaining on the right. Oh, you do catch her. You do catch her. You have to catch her. Oh, how do you catch her? You just you go just to the be underneath it. Underneath right at her. the farthest point of the screen is that the idea no you just be underneath her when she falls shoot the dragon yeah. oh gotcha this didn't say anything about the princess did no it? no there's no mention of the princess must have been a later edition yeah. or something. Ah, ow, 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 ow. you're down to one paladin yeah, one more i guess good. ow mm -hmm. Level three. Not even close to 500 points. <laughs> Where's the dragons? Ah, I turned around. Don't turn around. Ow! That's a big dragon, too. They take a lot of shot. I suppose in some ways. Yeah. Ow! Again? Yep. What's happening? It's a noise. I don't know. It happened. Oh! It's attacking. the sign that someone's attacking a castle? It's a bug. Maybe. It did that to me, too. I think it just didn't turn off a sound or something. Yeah, I think you're right. Uh, yeah, then, then it... Nope, still going. You've got one more. I killed all the dragons. Oh. You're trying to get to the end of the wave? You yep. have to kill everything? Is that the idea? Yep. Damn it. I think you'll have to be dead on. Yeah, you do. Or maybe slightly above. There you go. Next wave. So you just beat me. <laughs> yeah, dead on or slightly above. No, you made it to this. Uh, no, no, but I mean Points? score wise, uh -oh. yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Some of them, some of them shoot a lot. Oh, she, he got the. Uh... Get her. Uh, oh, she not died. quite. Good job. It's probably just points. Almost to 500. Yeah. Get a, get a paladin back. I like it. I like the background a lot. Uh, the no, various elements on. on different levels. Oh, yeah. Dead on? Yeah, if you're too high or too low, but I, I've noticed if I'm a little bit high, I'm okay. Yeah. You almost want to be just maybe like a pixel higher. I Dragons don't know. are the big points. Oh, yeah. Well, they also do the most there we damage. Go. Almost there. 480. One more. Oh. Don't die. Oh, another dragon. You, you only got like one point for that, dude. Yeah. You don't get much. Oh, they're all three people. No, 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 no! Run! You know, get get the guy. Get him yeah. first. Oh, level five. You should get a little bit back. Oh, there you got go. a pal. Oh, good job. Oh, oh it rebuilt. Yeah. Like you, you get a little bit. This is really well done. Game. Isn't it a well done game? It's There's so much so fun. There's so much going on. Yeah, that it's really, really cool. It's very colorful. It's a lot to worry about. Yeah, it's a really cool game. Whoa! What is that? Ow! That's something new. Do you have to avoid it? Uh, no. No? I think he's just a different uh, look for uh, a knight. A knight? Yeah. But I think he acts No, the he's, same. A, he's a monster. Yeah. He's a monster. I don't know. In his mouth? I don't know. You keep running into him, he keeps killing you. I don't know if you're supposed to run into that dude. I'll leave him to last because he's yeah. not fun. Because he was just eating ah. you. That noise, pew, 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 is a guy attacking your castle. 
Oh! I think I, I don't know. I don't know! He uh, doesn't... You don't seem to be doing anything against him unless you have to hit him in a very specific place. Uh, maybe I'll just avoid him. Avoid him for now and leave him as like a... Yeah, last A thing. test for the last. No! No! Leave it alone. Ah, run. I think he might be the last thing. No. Stop it. I think those guys are just going to keep appearing. What until is? I kill the creature. I don't know. Well, you're going to have to dragons kill the creature. Dragons I don't see any dragons. Sometimes they spawn, though. Uh, I have seen that, yeah. Okay. But you have to run into... Right where that line is. Yeah. He's too low. I can't. I can't. That's what I'm wondering if maybe that's. There we go. Yeah, got you got him. You got him there. Ow. Just remember, you need a good run on. There you go. Yeah, he was the last thing you needed for that. There. Okay. Run. There's a dragon. Oh. 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 Big wide. Big green zombie monster. Got the Incredible Hulk going <laughs> after your castle now. Yeah. Oh, this guy's dragon's tough. No! No, 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 Hulk no. Smash! <laughs> Hulk smash! Oh, he's too low. There we go. No, no. Damn it. Yeah, he moves around more. He's there definitely more challenging to And you have to hit him twice. No. Damn, he's too low. Ah! Castle! In ruins! Too low. Get him from behind. No. Oh. Oh. Oh, I'm almost dead. Yeah, finally. Oh. So you don't have to, you have to kill the creature, not the guys, because there was a well, guy still Well, it's probably the, the creatures screen. and the dragons, the knights and the dragons, still do you think? Dragon. Instantly. Oh, yeah, instant spawn. <laughs> the guys just keep reappearing. It's just the yeah, guys. but the guys are the guys uh, destroy your buildings. Sure. Uh, and that's that's have. an aspect of ooh, he's ooh, very nice. Wow. I love nice. the colors. Oh. So creative. Ah. Yeah. That one looks it's like very a pretty. phoenix. Very pretty. He hasn't stolen the princess because she's dead now. She's dead. Yeah. No more, no more princesses oh. left. Nope. The whole kingdom. Sometimes they're more challenging. They move around go a in lot. Got about two seconds here. Oh, got, got him! Oh, that was a good run. <sighs> that was very, very cool. Yeah. Very, very cool. And there was no options, no extra levels, nothing to set. No. It didn't say anything more. Because they're on the title yeah. screen. There's like there's stuff. this W one. Oh. Oh. W oh. two three oh, four. Oh waves, waves. Oh, do you think you can yeah. start at higher waves? So I got to seven. So you're gonna try a super high level. Let's see what it goes up to. Twenty. 20. Okay, let's try twenty. <laughs> just to see. Just to see. Actually, I'll let you pay, play it because I just. No, no, it. you play. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> I won't last very long. You'll last longer than me. X. X. Oh. X underline. Dragons, yeah. Whoa! 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 Witch! Oh my god. Oh, oh de just totally just... destroying your castle. Wow. Oof. Oh, the castle's just devastated. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. It takes a oh, lot. Oh, ruined! Castle's destroyed! Oh, oh and those monsters. guys! Monsters and knights. Oh, that's a challenge. Oh, oh there's oh. dudes too. Footmen running around. Yeah. Just. Jeez. Gotta get and that witch. And the witch moves very quick and very, very quick. erratically. And and also seems to take a heck of a lot of hit points. Yeah. Pretty cool. Very nice. Oh, did you get her? 
No. no oh no, my no. goodness, I thought for a second. <sighs> oh my goodness. Funny thing is when Talk you- about... Oh, get him. Oh, he's very fast at destroying the castle. There we go. Um, when you run into the creature on the bottom, it pushes you to the other side so that you automatically tr run into him again. Like if I- Yeah. Like it, it make, messes with your direction. Oh, did I kill the witch? I haven't seen her. I haven't seen the witch in a while. Oh, nope. there she is. It's got a nice little hat. And some fire underneath her. A broom. <laughs> Looks like a broom. Yeah. Like the the when it's when it's not on fire. Oh, the white? My goodness, how many times do you have to hit this witch? Well, on level seven that I made it to, I had to hit that dragon like twenty times. Yeah. So I can only imagine. No, oh my goodness. It's making me dizzy. <laughs> it's so hard. She's so erratic. At least she doesn't automatically go after the castle in the next castle. No, like. She's hanging around here. She's going after me, I guess. Oh, that creature's here, too. How many pretty... times do you have to hit that witch? Well, That's I'm crazy. missing a lot. You are on level 20 after all. Yeah. And what is on the... Where, where are your castles? On the right. Yeah. Or on the left. Anyway. <sighs> oh, that was boy. very cool. It's neat. You can jump ahead and see what's there. So. Yeah, that is nice. That's a nice feature. Excellent game. Really, really good. Um, so we're going to just keep on this because I'm going to guess that most of his games are going to be made with the same DPC that's mm. not going to work. So instead of messing around, we're just going to stay with emulation for now, today. Mm. Um, so the next game that uh, we're going to play by him is Armageddon Complex from 2009. It first posted in September 21st, 2008. It's also 32k... Oh, it's 32k F4 SC. So we can play it on the normal system. Okay. There you go. So we'll try and play things on... Oh, it's still spinning. As much as... Hasn't can. loaded yet. Yeah. <laughs> still, still working on it. Ready? Okay, so this one is um, Armageddon Complex. So when it... Oh, I'm the wrong thing. Change the game over. Oh, no. Sorry. Not Armageddon Complex. Star Crusade. But we can jump ahead. <laughs> we'll do Let's this one first. Let's just jump ahead. There we since go. Since we're loaded. There we go. Yeah. Uh, Armageddon Complex, 2009. Uh, first posted September 21st, 2008. Uh, oh, yeah. That's good we did do this one, because the other one wouldn't be able to play it. Uh, 32K F4 SC. Um, this is... All of his games are available in the Atari Age forums. Um, so you can start running around if you like. Do I have a lightsaber? Uh, looks like it. That's pretty good. Is a sci-fi action adventure set on a massive space station that has been taken over by a marauding band of alien terrorists. Terrible. Uh, the aliens are trying to gain access to the station's Infinity Collider. Uh, a doomsday device dis deployed by the Earth's uh, governments as the ultimate peacekeeper. You are humani humanity's last hope. You must locate and activate the station's auto-destruct system and, if possible, escape before the complex explodes. Uh, along the way, you may, uh, you may also accomplish additional objective that will increase your final ranking. HUD, at the bottom of the screen, the score area displays your current inventory and shield strength. So, here's your things you have. Hmm. A gun, a ring, a lightsaber... Um, shield strength on the right. I'm guessing your lives are on the left. Um, you can have a maximum up to three shields. I think those are shields. Uh, controllers. Controller. 
controls. And in adventuring mode, left joystick moves the hero in eight directions. Left fire button, left fire button, activate a computer terminal or aim or use the active item in your inventory as follows. Laser sword, which you're on, while holding the button down, tap the left joystick left or right to slash in that direction. Gun. Move the left joystick in one of the eight directions to aim the gun that way. Re release the fire button to shoot. Bomb. If you can find this, you can blow holes in interior walls. Right joystick. Tap left or right to activate your inventory item. So, this is a two uh, controller game. So I will plug in the other controller. Oh, see that got him. Weird. And we can scroll through the different items. With the other controller? Yeah. Oh, oh, that ring shows you what you're on, so you can shoot now. Or your laser sword. That's cool. Little indicator. Jared's games were amazing. Anyone know why they're never released on carts? Mm. It's a good question. It it doesn't show that any of these games we're playing today. Well, that one's a bit jumpy. Um, were finished. They were all works in progress. Uh. So how do so you have to switch it for me? If you want a gun, do you want a gun? Oh no no I well it doesn't matter. Try a gun. Shoot. There you go. That must pro probably a little bit easier. Hmm. Uh, controls in the puzzling mode. Okay, stand this. Move the joist cursor in four directions. Uh, by, button, fire button. Press a colored button or submit the code by entering uh, selecting the enter key at the bottom of the monitor. Um, so we don't know how to do the puzzle yet. We just know how to. Yeah, but it doesn't seem to do anything when I hit the button anyway. So maybe you find the code somewhere and right. then it just automatically. Ah. Guessing they were never considered finished by him waiting for DPC plus uh, BB fixes, etc. Yeah, none of them. All of them say demo or they're all works in progress as far as I can tell. And there are little glitches. The last game we played, though, seems finished. Like we didn't run into any problems. There's a bit of no, jumpiness. No, uh, it was it. Uh, some of the big monsters would kind of reappear on the left or right as they yeah. they went off the screen. But other than that, I didn't notice anything. Yeah, weird. it was perfect. Uh, killer robot. I think that's the killer robot. Mm. Garden variety evil robot. They turn up randomly in rooms you enter, and can be dispatched with a single shot or a swing of your sword. Mutant X. This is a persistent character that will serve much of the function that dragons did in adventure relentlessly pursuing you around the complex. So we haven't seen that yet. You can mangle him with your sword or a strike or a bullet, but after a few seconds, he will reconstitute himself, continue hunting you down. Oh, he's stuck in the wall. This one's a bit jumpy, so there's a bit of issues there with the jumpiness. Mm-hmm. Computer terminal. Is that this dude? No. He hasn't fallen you from screen to screen. He just stays on the screen. A security... Computer linked into the Armageddon Complex security ne uh, network can be used to disable force fields mm. and trigger other events. So if you're able yeah. to solve it. Yeah. Force field, a barrier which must be disabled by entering a proper code in the computer terminal. And that is the instructions. So this, we'll see if there's any information about the code or if you just have to guess. I seem to just keep running through the same hallway. This is the the beginning screen. Yeah, I don't think there's any path this way. Yeah, it but... It just repeats over and over forever. Yeah, but it didn't before. It's bizarre. The other room had a had a force field, so obviously you can't get through. This just seems to keep repeating this room. Well, stop going in that direction. No, then. it's doing... <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if it's one continuous hallway or if it's glitching somehow. It's an infinite hallway. It looks like it. This doesn't seem... Appropriate. Something's off. Uh, by the end, I hope to hear to do the following: draw and holster his laser laser pistol. Between jumping and shooting, there's no jumping. Select items from an inventory screen: uh, shield, keys, gadgets. Mm. Tuck and roll to dodge things while on the move. That was unfair. So that isn't implemented. Interact with non-enemy sprites, sprites and background objects when he stands in their active position. This guy does... Oh, oh I couldn't get past guy. him. That's the guy that he was He doesn't follow about. you, though. Oh. I'm just repeating the same screen. I, I don't know you if... You went too far. I don't think so. 
Well, you went like 20, 30 screens that way. I don't know. Well, now yeah, now back. I'm back here. So it does it. It does record how many screens. How do I get through this force field? The terminal. Terminal. Yeah, but how do I know what what the code is? Guess. Because nothing seems to actually happen. No sound. Nothing. So maybe this is not developed oh, yet. Oh, may not be implemented yet. Yeah. Like you go to the bottom and hit enter and you get out of it, but and then this has a dead end. Right. So I think we might have hit the end. The the, the extent the, of the what extent this. The extent extent of what's there because so I see nothing. Way? Yeah. Oh. And then there's there's like a I can't get past this. Okay. So I think that might be it. <laughs> Overcycling issues on this one too. Yeah, yeah, there are. He has too many lines. It flickers a bit. Great ideas and visuals. Hopes he finds an interest in yeah, finishing them someday. Yeah. I hope so too. He hasn't been on uh, the forums in a couple of years, unfortunately. Hmm. Uh, monsters now recognize the floors. I have took the teleporters out of this build so I can focus on streamlining the map drawing. Oh, so maybe that's why he was... Yeah, so he took out some stuff. Um... Ah. I'm almost dead. That's oh, okay. That's the end of... Now, um, I did play this a little Kelly. bit. No. And there is a way to get through that force field. Oh! How? Without turning it off. Just See walking? if you can figure it out. <laughs> oh, I died. Yeah, it's not. You don't actually walk through it. No? No. It's another way to get through it without walking through it. Really? Yep. There you go. You figured it out. Did I? Almost. We've almost figured it out. Yeah. I know it's I know I know if you work at it long enough. <laughs> there oh! you go. <laughs> you got it. Ah, uh, funny. And that's the bomb. Oh. Uh, so now you can go back and blow up some walls and get to Can you blow get to other can areas? Can you blow up the uh, red wall? You can blow up that wall? Oh. I think you can blow up the red wall. What? You dropped the bomb. Oh, I didn't know it would it was on. Yeah, it's on the bottom. Oh. You want me to switch it? No, it's okay. Okay. Because those guys are just easy you to just avoid. Walk. You just walk past them. Oh. Especially that guy's easy to avoid. No. Oh, yeah, you can go through that wall. Oh, a cup. Can you switch me to a... Uh... Oh. Oh, you walk through a wall. Ah. Gun is on now. Go get that cup. Go back. Well, I will, but... Oh, I can't. Ah. Uh -huh. I didn't do that on purpose. <laughs> I don't have anything in my gun. I need my... Um... It's not working at all. Oh, what? Oh. Run out of bullets. Ooh, new room. Ah, stop pushing me. Let me switch back to your gun. Oh, what is it? You have to move to hit. Yeah, but it doesn't. It's weird. Sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. Or maybe I'm, I'm not low enough. Hello, everyone. Has ZPH played Circus Maximus? Yes, that's one of my favorites. Nope, not yet, John. No, this, I don't think this is implemented. It's not mm. making any sounds. Yeah. And I think it would take away that yellow wall, which has nothing in it. Yeah. Oh! He uh, creates holes Oh, in there you go. There's nothing in there, though. I love how you go... That, that is friggin' hilarious. To me. <laughs> it's a wall hack. Oh, he did that? Yeah. That's funny. Yeah, he breaks through it. You're stuck now that you've gone through this wall. How Maybe you can it... blow it up. Uh, I don't know. Possibly. Uh, sure. Switch to the bomb. Okay. Nope. nope. Let's see if I can go through any other walls. Oh, oh, there you go. Oh, now you're in the top. <laughs> Where am I? Uh, I don't know. Oh, you're at the beginning. Good. Go to the right. Don't go infinitely to the left. I don't know. Or did I die? Oh, I died. Oh, okay. That would make more sense. Uh, maybe. No. No, I'm too far over if I died. Mm. I, I looped back around. I ran through the wall. Who knows where you are. It could be way far away. Here, I'll put you on the gun. Thank you. I don't think my gun's working. Leave him alone. Get no. back to the game. I'm not. Uh, my gun's not working. Oh. My gun's not no. useful. Laser sword then. Laser sword. <laughs> just keep running. Just keep running. Uh, oh no, it could be like screen 255. Do you want to take over for me? I'm just going to... Okay. I have to run out for a sec. 
I might reset. You just can because if you I don't want. know. There's a, little, there's a lot of little glitchy things going on there. Yeah, he, he was still working on the. Uh... Yeah, I'm gonna reset if I can. Oh, this is great. Wrap the thing on the console. Oh, we can't reset. Buttons don't do anything. Well, we'll keep running then. Just a little glitchy. Mm, just a touch. Yeah, it's jumping. I, I don't know if it's doing a screen roll. Some Sometimes it is. Sometimes it's like just moving it down the screen. It's being very tolerant if it is doing uh, rolling the screen. Oh, am I ever going to make it back? I might have to reset the game. Because this is far down the hallway. Unfortunately, it doesn't stop you. It just... It does count. Come on. I'll give it five more screens, then I'll reset it. Because we do want to see more areas that he has set up. Uh, two more screens. One more screen. If it's not the next one, I'm going to reset. Because we could be hundreds of screens out. Okay. I had to unplug the Atari box. That's why I didn't make any noise. Okay. That was Armageddon Complex? I believe... Right, 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 right. Yes, okay. Switch the gun, which had stopped functioning. Okay, so we need to get the bomb by glitching through this wall. Now we've got the bomb, or we will, in a second. Come on. Come on, bomb. Oh my goodness. Do I have to shoot it? Oh, I run out of bullets on the right-hand side. What the hell? Come on, bomb. Do I have to have it on the sword? Maybe I have the bomb now. No, I don't. But let me select it. Oh my goodness, so glitchy. Maybe I have to hit it. Ah, you have to hit it. Okay, let's go back to the sword. So let's see what's through here. Okay. Oh, no. At least don't run out of bombs, I don't think. You do run no. out of shots. Yeah. Because that thing on the right-hand side went down with the shot. Oh, so it does. Okay, that makes sense. That's how you know. Well, it made sense to me if you have a sword and a gun that likely... Oh, we looped around here anyway trying to figure out to... Okay, so this is a dead end. Going down there. I think we might have is... seen all the screens, have we? We or have no? seen this. Well, yeah. I don't know where the cup. I should have gotten the cup because yes, you kind you of... Should've. Or you have to go loop back Damn to it. the beginning and yeah, this, run through. It's this weird. This locks you in here. It does, yeah. I wonder if I can glitch out somehow. Get back there. Maybe. Or I can bomb it. Just a little glitchy. <laughs> Just a little. Touch glitchy. Mm -hmm. Nope. I can't. Damn it. Only he can bomb. You can. Uh, so I bombed one of those guys, but they have to be right on top of the bomb, I think. If I can glitch through this. Hmm. There's nothing in this room. There's, I guess. It's Other than the planned. computer. Yeah. Yeah, I think the blue walls you can't blow through. It, it appears. Oh, there's a dude in here. Ah! It doesn't always work. I think it has to be very perfectly timed. Yeah. Like right in the middle. Ah, now I can't get back to that cup thing. Grr. Oh, you have to go back to the beginning. Or if I can die. That'll be a fast way. Mm -hmm. Unless it keeps me here. Or if you keep going... Oh, no, yeah, you're right. You no, can't keep going end. left. Oh, no, you just die. I'll just die completely. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. I'll get to see the death. That's cool. 
And that's it. <laughs> and I'm a dot. You're just a dot. Just a dot on the screen. <laughs> That's that's what happens to us all when we die. Oh, there we go. Yeah, we, we just become a, a single pixel. Oh. Yeah. One single pixel. One single pixel. Okay, so let's glitch through, get the bomb, go the other way. And I discovered you have to be on the laser sword to get this. Oh, you do? Or was it on the laser sword? I was or on I the shoot I was on the I was on the gun. So, do I have to shoot it? Oh, I have to hit it. That was what it was. It was you have to hit it with the laser sword. There okay. you go. Now I'm on the bomb. And then you walk through the wall, right? No, you go up here, and you bomb that wall oh, to the right. Oh, that's right. And that's then... where we went there. Yeah, that's and right. There's not much there. No, no. And over here, there's a wall that you can bomb, and then there's a cup, and we'll see what the cup does. Maybe it's just an item you pick up for points. Actually, there's no points in this game. Yeah, it has to be a... Oh, oh, no. Oh. And probably like last time, I did smack it. Oh, whoa. I won. You won. Woo. Woo. <laughs> so that was it. That was, that was, well. Oh, wow, completed the game. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, probably playing. Because you said this was to build walls and things like that, so... It's yeah. definitely a work in progress. Yeah, but it's got a lot of really interesting <laughs> things, elements. especially the puzzles to open yeah. to open force fields. Yeah. 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 No. But it looks like we went into every room though. Need elements in there. Yeah. Okay. There you go. So now we're going to play. I can't stare directly at that. Yeah, That's we'll get it bright. off. Soon. <laughs> we'll get it off soon. Very flashy. Um. Now I think we have to switch back to emulation. Because he uses an old DPC Plus, mm. which doesn't work very well. Uh, it is the game we are playing is... Come on, come on. Star Crusade. Okay. So let's switch over to game three. Get that up on the screen. There we go. Star Crusades. You have to get that joystick. Mm -hmm. Turn up the music just a little bit. There we go. It's an AOB on this. So uh, it's that one. It's yeah. So this one is from 2012. Uh, <laughs> December 10th, the build. He first talked about November 27th, so it's only 13 days that. Uh, <laughs> So one update to this, a DPC Plus 32K game, and I will read out the instructions while you fiddle around. I'm not sure what I'm doing. Uh, I've been trying to climb back into the homebrew hobby a bit over the past few years, weeks, and in the process I dusted off a couple of old projects I've been tinkering with last year. One of them was called Star Crusade. Basically set out to do a space shooter in the Star Raider, Star Master, Phaser F Patrol tradition. With all of that genre's familiar conventions... It does look like an empty sector. There's nothing here. <laughs> Nothing's coming. Plus a few new twists that would hopefully set it apart from the crowd. Um, starting the game, press fire. Rules of play. Uh, can you hold down the button? Okay. No. Usually it's like this. Okay. Oh, that's a bomb. But there's nothing on the screen. It's just stars. That's uh, unusual. Oh. Like, it's it's playing. I'm yeah. playing. There's Stardust coming at me. Maybe it's the other joystick. And so there's obviously a bomb I can use. Mm. But there's nothing in the play field. Okay, we'll continue on with the instructions. Yeah. Because there's a star map control. What's the star map control? Uh, this demo pits your space cruiser against three units of enemy fighters, 30 ships total. After this game starts, press the game reset button to view your star map. Oh, we're on emulation. I'm so stupid. Uh, okay. Uh, this is... There we go. Okay. Oh. Sorry. So what am I doing with this? Um, star map. Tap the joystick up, down, left, right to move the cursor around the screen. Uh, press the fire button to open your command menu and tap left or right to select the desired command. So W. Okay. The commands are the arrow is navigate to the selected area using the standard thrusters. 
W is move instantly to the selected area using your warp drive, which is 10,000 fuel per warp. Looks like you have 98,000. Mm. Uh, a round circle is scan the selected area. Not implemented yet, so don't bother. Um, escape is cancel and close the command menu. So where's your cursor? Is I'm on the top black? of a guy, a red guy, the black, yeah. Oh, you just can't see him. Okay, so there you go. So you're going to navigate over using your standard thrusters. Am I supposed to go to the yellow points, or th this is just enemies? We'll find them. Oh, there they are. They're killing you. Okay. The red ones are a squadron of six enemy fighters. The uh, red one with a underline is an 18 enemy fighters. Um, the yellow is an inhabitant solar system, and the ship, as you gathered correctly, is the current location. Got them! So this is the battle view screen control. Tap and release the fire button to fire your laser. 100 fuel per shot, so you do use up fuel by shooting. Hold the fire button to charge up your photon blast super weapon, then release to fire it. You only have three uses of that. Push up, forward to climb, pull down, backwards to dive. So it's uh, regular controls, not, not a, uh, flying controls. I don't think the yellow is a, a planet. That's their shot, isn't it? Oh, no, I mean on the other screen. It's not, it's oh, well, you're confusing me now. <laughs> yes, they are shooting you. Yeah. So you have zero shields. Uh, and yes. I have no T and E. Uh, press a game reset switch to view the star map. The map will not appear if space battle is in progress. Okay, so I'm done now, so I need the Cleared map. Cleared it out. How do I... You have to do the map, then. There you go. All right. So can I go to inhabited planets? Yeah, I'm not sure yet what that is, because we haven't gone through everything. There's a lot of stuff. So that doesn't trigger a game or anything. Oh, I can switch back. There's no. nothing on the uh, radar down there. Mm. I'm using fuel, so go back to my map, please. Okay. Uh, I think you go to different places, but you want to kill... I'm guessing you yeah, want to kill, kill all, them all the... So that's six of them, and the other ones is, is more, is uh, 18. So you probably want to do that. Uh, Rena Fudd, hi guys. Dropping daughter off at college. Have a two-hour drive back home. Ah, hey, hey, welcome. You probably won't be watching this while driving, which is... Oh, you're getting really good at it. The star display is really good. In the, in the, the... And then flying around looks really good, too. Heads-up display, which is at the bottom. Uh, shows you important information about your ship. This HUD persists whether you're in star viewing map or the battle screen. Photon bombs, remaining photon bombs, indicated by the orange icons at the top of the dashboard. You have zero. You use them all up. Where is he? Where is he? Someone's attacking me, but there's no one on the screen there. There he is! Get him! Alright. But usually he shows in the little HUD display. He's flickering destroyed. in and out. Yeah? He was just off my... Oh, yeah, it might Maybe be been dead. dead. Okay, go back to the map now. Because I think I've got them all. So, S is shield. So uh, sh when I go to an inhabited planet, do I get more fuel? No. No. Is there options? No, 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 don't do that. What are the options? Oh, press the button. Oh, you'd have to scan, but that's not implemented. Press the button on it, and then go to the round icon. It's no. not implemented. So you might be picking up fuel there so if it wasn't. So what's W? It's w is uh, warp instantly, which uses up a ton more fuel. Uh, I would have thought by going to the inhabited planets. It's not. Yeah, we. I haven't read that yet, but... Uh, Actually, doesn't talk about the planets at all. How do I back out? Escape. Okay. So you want to go to that last? Yeah, I think I don't think I'm going to make it because I will lose up. Probably not. Because if I warp, I'll. Warp is will 10, use up 000. more. Ten thousand. Yeah. This will use much less than ten thousand. Yeah, but it's, I'm using a lot. I'm guessing in the full game, usually when you're doing like this, you would might encounter enemies. On the way? No, no. I think slow you down. I think you go to the planets to get more. Uh, where is he? Come here. That hurt you a lot. Oh, I'm dead. Yeah. Dead. I was very close to dying, but um, there are 18 of them. I don't think that was going to happen. <laughs> Press the button. Okay. 
press a button. Let me explain more because there's a whole bunch of stuff in the bottom. Okay. Press a button. Okay. I, I no I don't move me to the map because I'm burning fuel while you're talking. Uh, yeah, but I want. Uh, we'll reset. We'll okay. Reset. Those three orange things. Yeah. Are your photon bombs, yes. which will just destroy yes. everything on the yeah. screen. Yeah. I already used them. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Shields, remaining power to your shields, which is S, is why you're getting just demolished. Well, yeah, because they died really quickly. The red lines on the screen disappear, too. Yeah. Radar, display in the center of your console that shows the location of nearby ships as light blue blips. Mm. Ships in the gray outer rectangle are beyond your firing range, mm. while those in the interior dark blue rectangle are within range, will appear in your forward view screen. So mm. blue is what you see. Command menu, a menu that allows you to issue orders to your crew. Star map only. Hmm. Uh, oh, I see. That's the other screen. Mm -hmm. Fuel, the number of green in the green box. Number in the green box at the bottom of your display represents your f remaining fuel. It's not green anymore. Mm -hmm. It's blue. Uh, fuel and hull integrity. Once this drops to zero, you're dead. So it's both fuel and how much you have left. Taking damage. Well... Enemy fire hits your craft, you will receive damage to your shields. Once his bar has been fully depleted, he hasn't done a bar. Uh, enemy shots will damage your ship mm. directly. Oh, no, 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 no. Shields, S. So that... Yeah, your shields go down. Yeah. And then causing, you start getting damaged. Causing catastrophic fuel losses and system failures. Eventually, the loss of systems will be modeled in a less linear way. But for now, system fails occur in this, cor in this order. First shot, tactical display. Yeah. Target crosshairs disappear. Yes. Fifth shot, impulse engines. Your ship will now maneuver at half speed. Did yeah. you notice that? I didn't really notice it that badly, but yeah. Sixth shot, your radar goes yeah, off. Yeah, the radar turns That's off. That's why we couldn't see and I'm it. like, why can't I see where they are? Oh, that makes sense now. Um, okay, what else do we have here? Uh, Adam ra added random map layout logic. Okay, so let's go back now that we know that. So there's three units mm -hmm. to destroy so six six and 18. Mm -hmm. go for it he's right on a planet that's funny yeah there's no planet implementation at all uh, i don't know how complete this was but it really showed a creative programmer using the target basic pc plus can create that is for sure and how diverse this programmer was. Like, this is completely different from his other games. Yeah, this is really, really good for... It's beautiful. ...for the Atari Basin. <laughs> I'll now read out what the games are about. Uh, this demo pits your space cruiser against three units of enemy fighters, 30 ships total. After the game starts, press the game reset to view your star map. Each new game will randomly position your ship. Two enemy squadrons and one enemy flotilla. And three planetary systems on the map. Use the command menu, navigate your ship to one of the enemy units. When your ship moves within combat range, the star map will automatically switch back to battle view screen. Using the radar in the center of your command console to track enemy positions and maneuver them into firing range. Each enemy fighter is a class 1 through 3, with class 3 being the fastest and most aggressive. Uh, the sh they will attack you two at a time, zooming and weaving around your ship. Oh. I don't know if there's any way to dodge their shots. Isn't there? No, I don't know. Going left or right doesn't move them? I, I, I mean, I move. Now I'm really slow. Oh, your shields are done. Oh, no, they were done a long time ago. And your radar's out. <laughs> yeah, but I don't know. So now this is done. I have no fuel. I did way worse this time than the last time. Yeah. I had but way more. But they're all close more. together. They're really close to But it. my sense of it is, by going to a planet, you should be refueling. It's not implemented. Yeah. Because otherwise you're, you're kind of screwed. Because <laughs> you're never going to... Yeah. You're never going to get it back. Do you know what I mean? Scan. But there's yeah. no scan. So and there is no planet my... here either. Well, yeah, no. Why did you click over? Move it just... around. Why? Look for the planet. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, you just burn fuel. There's no point. There's no point. I think you're supposed to refuel. That's my, my sense. Once the last ship unit is destroyed, yeah. you can press game reset to switch back to the star map and plot your next move. 
Yeah, it doesn't say anything. So yeah, about the planets. Yeah, my my sense is like, why have the planets if you can't do if they don't help you? I supposed to set on November twenty seventh, two thousand twelve. Wow, visually impressive and fun. And there's I supposed to still here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Eight years later. Um, let's see if he s oh. talks about the planets at all. You can't refuel or repair in this demo. It's just a straightforward fight to finish with 16 enemies. So you just have to kill as many as you can. Yeah. Okay. Um, are you going to play it? No, you I'm done. You can play if you want. Okay, done. <laughs> it's frustrating that you can't well, you get your terrible, fuel back. So I'm going to start over again. Yeah, it's frustrating you can't get your fuel back. Yeah. Uh, oh, they're all close to me. Good. It is, but... I mean, the object of this demo is just kill him. Yeah. And try and finish it. Yeah. I, I guess if you're... You can dodge the yellow bullets by just moving away, but it that just seems... Me? Yeah. Because they're behind you, too, right? Like... It's kind of I would have liked inverse controls. I'm, there I'm, you go. Because I'm so used to... Inverse controls. Like normal flight stick controls. I'm moving the wrong way all the time. I'll get used to it. I shouldn't fire so much. Well, it uses up you, uh, energy. You, you, yeah, but you, you need to hit them, so. And they move faster. Ah, see, that one just got me. Like That's what I mean. It's like without, ah. without having a way to refuel. The first time I played, I did much better than the second. I was having a lot of. Ah. Uh, a hard time actually shooting them. Ah, I'm out of shields now already. Yeah. yeah, you lose it really quick. That's why I think the planets must be there to, to gain some health back, yeah. like some, some shields and some fuel. Or not fuel, even if it's just shields. Yeah. I think you can probably do it on your fuel, but um, but without repairing, you kind of... You're kind of done. Oh. See how much that took from you? Now Now once your shield is down, they just start chunking fuel out of your... It's those shots that just barely get on the screen. Yeah. And I don't even see them coming. No, you don't. It's nice, though. It looks really, really oh, good. Yeah. But it is, it is, it is a bit frustrating. Now I'm all slow and I can't yeah. dodge any shots. Yeah. I'm going to die. <laughs> Ah! Dead, dead, dead. Oh, they're all far away from me. That's okay, you don't use that much fuel, really. I love how the ships move and turn in perspective. Yes, yeah, I think really, it looks like really good. Turning and, yeah, yeah, they're great. Yeah, once your maneuverability is down, you're, you're screwed. You're yeah. so screwed. Actually, the weird thing is when your maneuverability is down, it's easier to control. <laughs> Like, I find it goes all over the place, and, and, and though it's slowing ah. you down, there's something about it that actually seems to be a little bit easier about controlling the ship. Yeah. But, um, but the issue is you can't get your shields back, which is very strange. You can't dodge bullets when you're slow, though. Not, no. No, you're... you're, you're and I like that. I like that it ramps up. The more injured, the more damaged you are, the harder it becomes. You, you yes. lose your radar. Although the radar seems to be more of a distraction than anything else. But, yeah, um, when you're in combat, there's so many ships. That, and they come to you. So yeah. So you don't need it too much. No. There we go. Hit! Now my shields are done! Yep. The shields go down fast. Yeah, a little too fast. I you think. have your bomb too, I guess. Oh, yeah, yeah. So if they're on the screen. There we go. Dead. But they have to be in your shot range, I'm guessing. Yes. You want as many as you can in your shot range when it goes off. Only two at a time, because that's how many it can handle. Yeah. Ah, oh, damn it. Yes. Oh, my God. Terrible. Can I warp around? I wonder if it counts. It only does direct. Yeah, I think so. Well. Might as well go there. Mm-hmm. I mean, this is fairly complete. All the basics are there. It doesn't have the refueling on the planets. I bet that would be like a challenge. Like you have to guide your ship. Yeah, to, yeah. and it might not even be refueling. I think what you need is a way to, to, to heal damage. Like get your shields back. So if you went to a planet yeah. that healed your damage, even if you didn't get fuel back, then that would make sense to me. Yeah. 
Um, shields are, are way more important. Yeah, because if your shields are down, then you're just fighting your flotilla of 18 enemy sh Like, there's not a chance. You almost, oh, you would almost... To him. Just to turn to his... No? You can't at all? No, he's flying away faster than you can get to him. Um, ah! Yeah, there you go. And you can't shoot the other guy's shots. Hi, Mr. Fix! As far as I can tell. Um, hey, Mr. Fix. Yeah. Really good game. Yeah, it is. It, it, it needs some refinement, and obviously it's clearly a work in finished. progress. But it's 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 pretty good. And good music. Yeah. Yeah, definitely cool. Okay, and I think we have one more game to play: Circus Galactus. <laughs> Circus Galacticus. Um, and this is, uh, we can also play it on the, um, and on the actual On system. the actual, yeah, yeah, excellent. So. Dioskilo says, well, that one was from 2012. Is that yes. right? Yes. Um, yeah, that one was from December 10th, 2012. Mm. Um, so let's go back to this. Oh, Nathan Strom, got it. The theme music is from Star Trek II, The Wrath of Khan. Oh. Very nice. Very cool. <laughs> there we go. Pick up the controller there. Press the middle button. I believe this is a two-player game. It can be. Switch mm. over. Circus Galactus. Atari 2600. There we go. Go down to the date. Okay. Circus Galacticus. Uh, this is from 2011. It was first posted in 2008, December 17th. It's the 32K game, F4SC. There we go. Um, this is also available in the Atari Age forums if you want to download it. And let's open up the instructions. Uh, it looks like it has a level. Can you move that left and right? Sorry. Oh, sorry. Level. And we can't. Reach. Oh, you can you can pick the person. Okay. Awesome. Well, so no. which person do you want? I don't know. There was a girl in there somewhere. There's a purple hair. Purple hat. Hat. Her. Yeah. I'll take her. Well, I I'm assuming uh, <laughs> it's pink. <laughs> so there's three. Oh. Oh, there's lots. Green. Uh, the blue. one the, with the the brown hair, the purple with the not that one. That, that one. one. Yeah. Okay. There you go. So, In a skirt. And they all have different. <laughs> they all have different uh, stats too. Oh, okay. Shields, Shield. boots. Oh, speed, uh, weapon, shields. Is that? Uh... You see, you're a fast runner. Um, sure. Decent hits, and so I decided to post my progress on my mm. first Atari Twenty Six Hundred homebrew. So this is the first one. Circus Galacticus. The setting is a futuristic gladiator tournament where combatants duel each other to the death for the pleasure of the Galactic Empire. I guess that's the person. Mm. The game will comprise the player's fighting career with the difficulty and rewards ramping up with each new match. A match ends when one gladiator loses all of his shields and is fried by his opponent's laser beam. Mm. The player begins a match with three shields, while each new opponent gains more shields up to a maximum of five. This is a playable demo. The difficulty ramps up as you progress through the game in several ways, and most of the AI is in place. The final game will also contain a two-player versus mode. Oh, this is only one player. Mm. Although that is disabled in this build. Left, left joystick moves the player sprite in eight directions. Uh, press the left button to start game, begin next match, and charge up your laser gun. Release the left fire button, fire your laser gun. The longer you hold it down, the further the shot will travel. Mm. Note, aiming is precise in this game. You must aim for the head or the chest of the enemy, or your shot will pass in front of him. Mm. Head or chest. Gameplay. All duels are to the death. At the beginning of the match, a protective energy field appears on each side of the arena. When a gladi gladiator stands in this field, he cannot be harmed by the enemy lasers. So there's a protective energy field. Okay. Sort of like Yar's Revenge. Um... <laughs> After a certain amount of time elapses, the Emperor gets bored with your dawdling. When this happens, a pair of electrified walls seal off the energy fields, and the mm. shield matter turns into a steady stream of deadly photons that fries anyone trapped on the wrong side. Mm. Interesting. There's still a lot of unfinished components here, but I thought enough of the core gameplay was in place that I should try to get some feedback in this forum. 
The most unfinished portion is probably the alternate level style, as seen in level 3 of this build, where you must survive waves of attacking <gasps> monsters for a set period of time. As I put this in as a placeholder, if you press the fire button after a few seconds of past, you will proceed to the next duel. Dad, uh... That, and that's it? <laughs> that's it? That's a super fast game. <laughs> you died. I can't. How did you switch? Oh, you had to switch it over there. That's fine. Oh, you're fine with that? Yeah. Kind of middle of the road. So those are your protective areas. Two shots. Three shots. Oh. One more and you're gone. I know. That's super hard. Yeah, hit him once. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, almost. so close. My tea is cold. Yeah. Yeah, you won. That worked a little better. Yeah. <laughs> Do a little dance. <laughs> so there you continue on with your guy. Is it harder? That would be good if it the Atari box. That guy said something. Oh. Next battle. There you go. Oh. Kind of just going for the rapid fire. <laughs> uh, Mad Max says I was. I was cooking. I just checked back to see someone saying the movie. Saying the movie. Mentioning the movie. I just checked back. Oh, you can roll. In how, the, did, how did... To hear the title music. How did I roll? Down? Down and button? Oh, there you go. How'd I don't do get it. it. <laughs> and I... Double, double press the button in a direction? I don't... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. You're about to die. Oh. Yeah, something, something about so it's a... there. Got zapped. <laughs> well, that's quite quite a nice death. Yeah. Here. Okay, my turn. Interesting. Okay, so let's Interesting. See. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> see if I can get him to roll. Down, down left, left. Unlock more dances, the more gladiators you kill. It's it's. I'm joking. <laughs> That's basically. Uh, okay, I figured it out. Hold down the button nine. and press mm. double in a direction. Double in a direction. Ooh, ooh, glitch, glitch, glitch! Oh my god, you can you can strafe. You can strafe? Yep. <laughs> you hold down the button. Mm. Uh. It's a, it's a little it's a little, it's a little crazy. Weird. Yeah, I'm like, why am I rolling? But yeah, because you're right. If you're it, so it's just double double hit in in one direction or the other, and you roll. Uh, double hit and the button. Nice, good job. Yeah, he doesn't spell it out in the manual. Yeah. Am I gaining any shields? It doesn't show. Ooh, ooh. This so those those zap you, I think. Those are not. No, you just count one. Ah! Ah! Must be just ahead, right? Yeah. yeah. Shooting up. Like, I was trying to shoot down. I don't think that was working. Quite a variety of moves given the controller. Yeah, yeah there are. They, I mean, it, uh, it takes a little figuring out to there, what there, does what, but... Uh, yeah, there's strafing. Oh, like oh. If you, oh, he, he's, he jumps low. Ooh. Ooh! Fast movement. Oh, that's the guy from the other game, Armageddon Complex. Is it? Oh, it is! But green, not purple. Yep. Neat. Yeah, if you... Yeah, strafing is definitely the way to go. You just hold it? Yeah, you, um... Are you, are you shooting as far, though? No, you don't shoot as far because you get, don't get a chance nice. to um, um, charge it up. You hold down the button in the direction you already want that you're facing and just keep it held down. Yeah, that's the way. That's great. Oh. And then if you press twice, you can roll. There we go. Good job. Ooh, I rolled. I was... Okay, that was a good move. Okay. You roll hold, past. you strafe, and then double tap the, the direction back. back, and you'll be behind him shooting him. Oh, I see. Because you roll past him. There's a lot of tactics. This would be an excellent two-player game. Ooh, this guy is big. Got a lot of... Uh, 
firepower, and that's it. Yep. <laughs> you only have one life, really. Realistic. Still nice. Yeah, oh yeah. There I'll you go. Now again. that you kind of know that. Not really. <laughs> Do you want to pick a different person? Ah, uh, sure, sure. Maybe with more shields? Yeah, sure. That one has a lot of shields. Let's go with that. It doesn't move as fast and doesn't shoot as hard. Let's try. Okay. But it gives you a big advantage. So, learn strafing. We can di uh, diagonal strafing, too. That's good. I'm not trying to diagonal strafe, though. Well, let go of your fire no, but I... How... It doesn't matter where you... St when you start? It's the direction you're pointing or moving when you hold down the fire button. The no, strafe. no, because I was moving sideways. I'm not moving diagonally. Well, Do you see this? <laughs> That's weird. Oh, I see. It's when you start strafing. That's yeah. what matters. It's the direction you're moving or pointing. when you start strafing. When you though. start yeah. because you'll continue. You, you'll continue to shoot in that direction. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Finally. <laughs> the combat uh, arena seems a bit odd, though. Well, there's different ones. It changes it up. I mean, this is well, it's a little different. It, it the arena does change, which is nice. And we'll we'll play the different game variations after this. I don't know what that thing So my is. tactic was hiding behind a pillar and just peeking my head out. Yeah, yeah. I for my shot. Right. See, the arena's changed now. Nice. Oh, you get to pick a different Every player? single time. Okay. how you move and, and it's suddenly... Oh, stop it. The direction you're in when you first start shooting is what matters. Oh, that was lucky. <laughs> so, <yeah. laughs> I wasn't going too well. Very close. Big variety of rooms. The force field changes. That's, yeah, that's an interesting. Yeah, moving around. Interesting way of doing it. Oh, this guy's bad. Yep. Oh, he's almost got me. He's very slow though. He's got very. Probably got very deadly Super, hits. Super, very deadly hits. This is very difficult. <laughs> I would do an up angle and wait for him to come into uh, your your shot because he doesn't seem to do anything. Uh, no, that is no, not no. what you want to no. do. <laughs> you rolled right into it. I didn't mean to roll at all. Double tapped. Oh well, we both struggle with this dude, so. So let's try a different uh, level. Cafe Man 2D, what year was this finished? Uh, not finished. Uh, well, it's pretty close to finished. It looks pretty good. 2010 was the last yeah. release, I think. Let me check. It's pretty fun. Um, oh, you can adjust the levels. That's good. Atari is very happy with us playing video 2011. games. 2011. It started in 2008, and this is 2011. Oh, oh he's so upset. I just wanted to come and say he hi. He doesn't want that. Oh, I just wanted... Ow. Are you going to say hi? I'm sorry. He was having a bad time. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, we woke him I'm up. I'm sorry. Poor little fluff. <laughs> I'm so sorry, buddy. The one thing that could be changed is your character selection. Is yeah, that you should be able to check, do it with a joystick. I think so, too. Ah, damn it. Ah. Ah. It's the strafing, the fact that it sticks with the direction is a little bit weird. It's something to get used to. Yeah. I mean, it works well, but it's just so many. It's very challenging. Oh, you got him seem... fast. You get more points if you get them fast. He doesn't seem to m fire very much. That guy moves very fast. He has, yeah. This guy moves fast. There we go. Yeah, you want to get really close to him to get a ton of shots off. Ah. 
stuck in the wall. <laughs> I'm stuck in the wall. Yeah, a little bit of jumping. This, this, this is the hard thing. Yeah, I think I'm gonna employ. Any... Oh, he has more shield too. That's what I'm gonna do right here. I think he comes close enough. Because he likes to hide in there. He so. does like to hide in there. That was a good tactic. Yeah. Get him on the angles. Ooh, not much to hide here. It's the double. Ah. Oh, good. For some reason, it's not, it was delaying my shooting. Probably because I was touching that or something. Yeah, or you were too close to it, maybe. Oh my goodness! Whoa! Whoa. Yeah, this guy's moving fast. Really fast, but he doesn't take many shots. Looks like the genie from uh, Archon. Hmm. Very much like it, and it moves the same too. It makes mm. that same noise. I think it was some inspiration. Oh, oh it's his. It's his. Oh. Uh, from uh, what? What is Armageddon it? Complex. Armageddon Complex. Although this predated Armageddon Com Complex? Um, I think yeah, so. I think it did. This is 2010 and that was 2012? Yeah. Mm. But I mean, he has the same uh, character animation of running as mm. well through his games. Lots of characters. Look at this guy. That's a different character, too. Yeah, really nice. How many levels do you, do you figure? I don't know. Keeps going. It seems like some of the characters have reproduced, like slightly different colors, but the same yeah. same shape. I haven't had another big, big guy. Oh, oh, oh. oh. oh so this lucky. Is so close. That was so close. It's getting a little harder. Definitely. A little glitchy. Some of the screens are jumping. Yeah. But for the most part, it's been pretty good. This guy shoots more. The other guy that he shoots no. well. Yeah. I find just getting them around a wall, they're not too smart with walls. Yes, yeah. You well it's yeah, yeah, you have to block Let's yourself go. from shots. Ooh, Ooh, he takes a chunk. His his bullets are big. Oof, you notice run. that? His big bullets. Yeah, good run. That was good. I don't know if anything's changed between the different levels. What did it say that it... Do you remember what it said? No. Like when you select the initial screen, like here? The level screen? Yeah. Is it, the level harder or is it... Oh, it's just it who you just start at. You so if you start at 7... Harder enemy? Yeah, it's just a higher... Yeah. It starts you off a little bit higher. First. Ooh, it's showing a lot of screens on oh, here that don't that. exist in this game. Oh, really? The screenshots, like, oh. um, things on the side where you're safe, like the whole left and right hand side of the screen. A bunch of, oh, it's showing like multiple enemies on some of these screenshots. Really? That he's, hasn't happened he's yet. He's either taken it out or it's not in the demo. Oh, or it's in the high, high, high levels. High, high, high levels, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's really uh, too bad that he never put any of these out on cartridge. Like, all of these are worthy. Like, oh, if, sure. if he finishes them off. Like, I would love to play a two-player version of this. This would oh, be, be fun. really good two-player game. Yeah. It's really sad that he hasn't been online in a long time. Let me just check that again. Last time he was on. Uh, May 22nd, 2019, so a year ago is the last time he was online. Sad, sad, sad. And the last time he posted was in 2016. How did that happen? Did you get I, I ended up in the middle of the box. Oh, yeah, there was a couple. There was one time I got stuck. Finishing game is the hardest part. Yeah. 
the last little bit, the cleaning up. But most of these games are like so, so, so close. Like really close. And he calls a lot of them demos. Well, he's limiting, limiting um, parts of it. But it sounds like he did implement a two-player version of this, but he's just not, didn't release it to the public. Ooh, so close. That's okay. <laughs> fun times yeah good it's stuff a, good game. a one on one game would be great yes it would yeah, be it'd be a lot of fun um, so let's take a look at all the games we played today yeah we I did guess. four games of J-Rocks um, games what is his name again is uh, Jared Kitchen mm -hmm. so I hope Jared Kitchen comes back and finishes these off or mm -hmm. keeps developing new games um, because they're all like all of them are really good in their own right yeah, yeah. like all of them yeah and they're all really different um, styles of games. Yeah. yeah, yeah. A lot of experimentation there with different styles and yeah. different, yeah. Um, so UFO, fun LCD. Yes, style simple, game. very simple. Very simple, but it gets hard. Yeah, yeah, oh on yeah. On the higher it's levels. It's not too easy, but yeah, it's very simple. Um, played Charge, very dynamic. Oh, I loved, I think. Lots of things happening. I'm trying to think, I think of the games, that was my favorite. It, it yeah. just there's so many elements going on and it's just challenging enough and it's a lot of fun i think it was the most complete too well this one's um, very close as well because star yeah. crusade didn't have everything you couldn't recharge yeah star crusade some th Arm definitely that was missing armageddon yeah. complex was very limited like you couldn't do a lot of stuff yeah you barely do anything in but fact. um if it were a bit more finished then it would be a very very cool game yeah. like all the different elements of the different weapons in there too yeah. although controlling it with the second controller is a little bit odd but that's okay i'd rather it be on the second controller than on the system that's true you're not running back and forth that's a good have, point it's a lot easier to, yeah. to move things around yeah uh but charge probably my favorite out yeah. of his four it's really, really good. good very arcadey yeah, it feels like that's the most complete game, and yeah. that just, should be just, on a cartridge for yeah, sure. Yeah, just a couple for sure. glitches with the guys appearing. Minor, really super quick. minor, though, yeah. yeah. Um, Star yeah. Cru Crusade um, found the hardest to control, and I think some game balancing would help that out a lot in terms of how fast your shield goes yeah. down. Um, and obviously there's no chance for refueling there. Um, or building up your shield again. Armageddon Complex sounds it's like an, a fun adventure game, but yeah, not very complete. That's all. There's very yeah. few rooms. Looks like we found all the rooms. I think so. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. And Circus Galacticus, excellent combat game. Very fun. Um, because it has strafing, it has yeah. charging up your bullets, it has rolling to avoid things, it has shielded areas and with two-player option it would just be I incredible think, and i think with with a game like that the diversity of the characters that appear on screen the diversity yes. of the rooms the, it just keeps changing every the shield, level the, like, yeah the different the block stats, versus the you, shields how fast you run um and like those those flashy shields where you can shoot through it but don't get shot but when they're appearing yeah. and disappearing it actually makes a adds a dynamic to it yeah um i think there's like a lot of potential for Huge i mean we potential. only got through a few levels who knows as you keep going there's probably more and more and more yeah. and the and the opponents get harder and yeah um, if i seem really cool yeah if i could get him to keep working on a game it would be probably this one yeah um circus galacticus yeah because it's so much dynamics and i really want to play the two-player version of it yeah um a two-player version would be awesome. J-Rock has very distinctive style across all his yes. games. Yes. Very much so in Simo does. Yeah they, yeah. they have similar colors. The characters look the same. He's he's reusing some of some of the characters too, like between the Armageddon yeah. Complex and but Circus yet, Galacticus. All his games are very different at the same yeah. time. Different yeah. styles. Like he's got a space shooter yeah. and an arcade shoot -em up and a combat game mm -hmm. and an adventure game. Like very, very different. Mm -hmm. Um, this is very similar to his Red Shirts game, where it's like a Star trek -y, you beam down to a planet, and you shoot things. He's used a, reused a lot in that game. Yeah. From this. Um, but I think this one is a lot better game than the Red Shirts game. Mm. Um, so I hope he returns. I hope he comes back and finishes them. Yeah. It doesn't look good at this point. He well, hasn't posted in four years, and he hasn't yeah. even logged in in a year. Yeah. But sometimes um, us playing the games on the show have resurrected people really like from years of not logging yeah. in. 
And so hopefully he gets to see this and know that there's yeah. a lot of people out there who in the like chat his games. Yeah. that love his games and really want to see them finished and put on cartridge. Like, yeah. I can see Al putting these in the Atari Age store quite easily. Yeah. yeah. And yeah, I, I'm sure a lot of people would help him out on any glitchy, mm -hmm. glitchiness. This one doesn't have much uh, screen jumping glitchiness. Mm -hmm. um, Mad Max 26 a. yeah it can burn you out yeah and and it's yeah. totally understandable that people do it for a while and take a break from it too yeah, he like did a lot in he did like a lot. three years yeah like five or six really intense complex yeah. games and you don't know what's happening in people's lives as well right like yep. sometimes you have the time and then suddenly you don't so yeah it, it is exactly. what it is yeah but uh yeah so great uh, lineup of games today. It's great when I find these developers and I just like, oh, we've never played any of these games from this developer. <laughs> yes. Oh my goodness, like treasure trove of games. It's incredible. Um, so let's take a look at what's on the roster coming up. Um, we will be back on Wednesday mm -hmm. with Erlen. Yeah. He's a little sick right now, so hopefully he'll get over his yeah. cold. Yeah, just a cold. Don't just worry, a cold. just a cold. <laughs> um, we're going to play on Wednesday Text Adventure. It's a fun little game. Mm. Uh, very quick, very simple, but it's a very, very fun and different kind of style to adventure. Um, we're going to be doing the Patch Challenge for Tire Tracks. Uh, very challenging mm -hmm. uh, to get that patch, especially on the fourth level. Mm. Um, and then we'll be doing the Patch Challenge uh, for Astronomer on the Friday. Oh, with Darcy? Uh, if, Darcy, if, he's, if he comes, he may yeah. not come because he's on the island. He has to take a ferry and it's kind of uh, um, ferry is yeah. A lot of people on the ferry. Yeah. Um. So I might be playing that with you. Okay. Right. I've tried getting the patch many times on an astronomer, and it's a lot of luck because it's random what kind of level you what, get, what, pops what kind up. of clouds, yeah, how fast things are going. I think we did it once before, and you 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 did really well. Uh, but but you well. didn't get close enough to. Yeah. Uh, my highest is eleven, I believe, and yeah. you have to get twenty. 20 okay yeah um and then i'll probably start introducing back in the activision patch challenges now that we have the system up and going mm. but i wanted to do some homebrew patch challenges first with tire tracks and astronomer and he also is going to be doing a patch challenge for uh daredevil as well for that game so i'm looking forward to that because i'm I feel very confident, unless he makes it really, really hard mm -hmm. for that. Uh, Muddy Funster uh, is uh, does tire tracks and Daredevil. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll be doing that. Uh, when life comes calling, you really have no choice but to answer. Yeah, that's very true. And, you know, things like this where it's kind of a hobby, it's kind of for fun, that's yeah. the first to go. Yeah. <laughs> unfortunately. It's the truth. It's like yeah. when I have to work, I have to postpone these shows sometimes. Yeah. And I just can't do it. So yeah. that's why we're doing it on Sundays. Yeah. You know, it doesn't matter. People should still show up. They yeah. get to see it in the YouTube archives. That's right. If they can't make it live. Yeah. Um, and beyond that, we're going to be playing Zookeeper on the last Yay, kind, of, kind of days of the 2020 Harmony Games. Nice. Um, oh, if Darcy doesn't show up on Friday, it will be in the evening so that yes. you can play. So yeah. it'll be at the 6 p.m., the evening yeah. time version of the show. But I'll probably know that pretty soon. I'll be asking him. I, I really doubt he will be coming over because he has a long way to go. Erlen lives just down the street. So yeah, <laughs> very, very easy. Yeah. Um, yeah, and there's a bunch of games that have been posted recently. I'm kind of waiting for them to be built up to a playable um, mode. Um, they just started a couple games, so... And we might delve more into some archives to fill in some games as well. Um, so that's it for today. Um, thank you, everybody, for tuning in on such an odd day. <laughs> um, and spending time on your Sunday afternoon slash... Yeah evening depending on where you are in the world that's right yeah uh where's my chat there we go so thanks uh everybody for tuning in mad max 2069 nathan strum dan avc thrust 26 Cafe man 2d carl g mr fix uh dios kilos 80 uh i sposta arena foot jumped in for a second there yeah well he was uh dropping driving. his daughter off <laughs> while dri not driving dropping her off yeah then put down his phone kept yeah. driving 
I guess in some way you could like pipe, pipe the sound through Bluetooth could, and you, listen to it. You could listen, you could but listen. I think you'd be running the um, the streaming, which might not be good for your mobile phone. I yeah. don't know, depending on your plans. You but, might be able uh, to set it to like a really low. Well, that's video. what I do. So I sometimes I'll catch it over my lunch break at work. Yeah. And I just set it to the the lowest. Um, uh, video s video setting? setting where I can still see something, which is okay. pretty low. Yeah. Um, but if you put it at the very lowest, you, you basically can barely see what's what's streaming, but you can you can hear. hear everything. So yeah. Okay. Thrust twenty six. Yeah. Uh, uh, Johnny WC twenty three. Uh, Dianoid up yes. on the top of the show. Trey, Trey guy. guy, Repentless VG. L lots, lots of people, people. yeah, yeah lot of, have popped in variety. and out throughout the day so that's all uh, that's awesome i think that's oh p1lh4 usually says something at the beginning and that's about it <laughs> um yeah everybody be careful stay healthy yes um yeah. avoid large crowds yes watch a lot of streaming do what the scientists <laughs> do what the <laughs> yeah. scientists tell you to do yeah um yeah yeah just stay healthy and stay indoors and play video games yeah Play that's, your Atari 2600. That's that's what, yeah. Catch up on the backlog. Yeah. That will keep you safe. <laughs> yes. Atari 2600 will keep you safe. Yes, that's right. <laughs> that is a lesson we're learning today. Yeah. Um, so, I'll be back on Wednesday unless there's something uh, that uh, disallows me from doing it on Wednesday. Yeah. If, and we'll be back with Erlen. Yeah. And if not Erlen, it'll be and me on, on Friday, yeah. Or, or Wednesday. Or in the evening. Well, possibly in the evening. Uh, yeah. No, I'm busy in the well, oh, we'll we'd see. have to be late in the evening. It might be challenging. We'll have to see. We'll play it by ear. We'll see. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we'll see. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, but until then, we will see you uh, next time. Uh, make sure you subscribe to Twitch and YouTube and Instagram and, and Facebook, Facebook and all the stuff. And, yeah. And we're almost at 500 subscribers wow, on YouTube. That's so cool. So I'll do a roundup of the number of people that follow us maybe yeah okay, so i want to check i want to check see if we've hit 500 on youtube but I'll probably it was getting very very close very very close come on. how do we find out what current subscribers no it's the wrong one it's the wrong one i clicked the wrong one 493 so we need seven more seven of your friends who have nothing to do so to subscribe that's to right YouTube. so if you haven't subscribed <laughs> Subscribe to YouTube, yeah, the YouTube channel, very so we can get over the 500. Yeah, very but close. But 19 in the last month. Oh, that's it's been good. going up quite, quite. The curve is going up, so yeah. that's good. Yeah. Yeah. Um, good. So thanks for hanging out with us. Yeah. We'll see you next time. Yeah. Yep. Have a good Sunday. Have a good St. Pat St. Patrick's Day too. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. That's right. Yeah. Bye bye, everyone. Bye. Bye.